Hello everyone and welcome to Swindler's Den. We're here with the Mythic Odysseys of Theros. It's Moot Day once again. We're here in April. Um, so for those you don't know, we just came off the back of March Moot Mayhem, which was we uh, we started playing every Wednesday of that month instead of every other. Um, and the bits and subs were doubled as points. What are you doing, Grizz? What, what's I, that face? I need to throw an update in there. I forgot the word. Oh you about. my but go god! Ahead, do your oh, spiel this is the only day in April we're doing now. Uh, I guess. But yes, now we're in April and we're doing it every day as well here, uh, because you know, every week we yeah. love you guys. Not every every week, on <laughs> every day, yeah, every in day April. in April <laughs> until this thing is done. Uh, yeah. But yes, every Wednesday we will be playing still. Uh, the the bits and subs aren't doubled anymore. They do still count, uh, but they only count. Uh, one per sub, one per bit. <laughs> but you usually don't do one the, bit. You can do one bit. I don't care. Multiplier is not on anymore. <laughs> yeah, the two times multiplier isn't there anymore. Um, but yeah, so we still have fun things planned for those. I already, I already, we already got so many things. We had a hype train before we even started. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, I also wanted to say, uh, 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 uh you guys should. Like, subscribe on our YouTube and follow Twitch, obviously. But subscribe to YouTube. There's a lot of really fun things going on over there. We just had a YouTube exclusive go up recently. So if you guys haven't checked that out, please be sure to go do that. Um, and we have things on the way as well. We have a Patreon. And guess what is all updated? <laughs> Like, subscribe, man! <laughs> yes, what is all updated on the Patreon? Uh, the Mythic Odyssey of Theros is up to date currently, ex except for this current session, which I'm sure will be up soon after this. So if you guys if you have to catch up on... on the Patreon, then it's up to date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you guys need to catch up with Mythic, Mythic Odyssey of Theros as we're, uh, we're getting towards the end of this uh, campaign... And just want to listen to the audio, like when you're working or something, a dollar uh, for per month, and you can listen to all of that. We also have Doip all the way up to date on there, and all of Vandover. Um, before I introduce my players, Grizz looked very concerned because oh, yeah. he has some kind of shit going on. Uh, so with this show going weekly, uh, we're going to switch Doip YouTube upload day and Moot upload day on YouTube. So this only affects those YouTube viewers out there. So now Doip will be on Tuesdays on YouTube, and Moot will be on Fridays. Very cool. I always wanted it that way. I'm glad you finally <laughs> caught on to the memo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before we get into our summary, uh, we got some players here today. We got a Dr. Page. Uh, hello, I'm playing Dyrim, the monk chiropractor. Lots of fun. <laughs> We also have Bumble Scum. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ukrit. <laughs> Ukrit the unsurest of what the fuck is happening. <laughs> and uh, Grizzlock. Ooh, Raggy. Raggy. <laughs> 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 he plays Igor. Um, Cam, Abnormal Chemist, will not be joining us tonight. Uh, uh, she is taking a night to relax, which is important to do. Everybody, remember you need you need your relaxation. But we'll miss her. Uh, she already threw a sub in the chat to try because she wants these boys to suffer while she's gone. Yeah, that so. was her plan. She's she's gonna <laughs> yeah, throw all the plan. bits and subs to kill us, so she's the only <laughs> one who gets to come back and play. Jokes <laughs> <laughs> on her! I'm taking her out with me. <laughs> ice knives all day. Oh, yeah, at least she's not ice knifing us. <laughs> yeah. With that, uh, last session, our our champions found themselves stranded in the middle of the ocean uh, before their ship had gone down to the cannon dragon. Amelia had cast a water walk, so they were just standing on the water, not knowing what to do, when a, a, uh, a mermaid, you could say, came up from the water um, and offered them help along with her sisters. Uh, gathering some wreckage and using their rope that they had, the mermaids are able to pull our our champions to the Dacker Isles. In, in fact, it was the one they needed to go to, which, of course, I have written down, and I know it. I know the name constantly, always, on the top of my head. That's Planet Zoo. We don't need to know that. Ketaphos. Um, so <laughs> they, they rode there, and upon arrival, they were offered food, which secretly was a way to trap them into a constant cycle of eating uh, until 
these sirens, which they turned out to be, could then eat them from what they understand. Um, everybody but Yigor was able to pull away from this feast while Yigor <laughs> continued to engorge himself. The others started looking for things on the island, uh, flowers and other medicinal things for Dyrum and Amelia, while Ukert waited for snails. Eventually, the the sirens got a little too irked that they weren't the champions weren't eating their feast and attacked them. After a little bit of a struggle, uh, Yigor and Ukrit going going back to eat more mid fight, um, they were able to defeat two of the sirens, so the other escaped to the sea. After this, they continued on into the rainforest, having spotted a way to get to, or actually Amelia talked to. Uh, one of the birds there, which showed, uh, pointed out the way to the Sphinx's temple, which was in the middle of a desert, um, kind of a reverse oasis in on this tropical island. They travel across the desert, made it to this temple, where they talk to Nef Nefriti, the Sphinx, who put them through her challenge. First challenge uh, involved riddles that they had to answer, and if they got them wrong, monsters would appear. They uh, a, were able to answer all but one correctly, so pretty easy going there, where they were able to then enter the temple, where a nuzzle, a nuzzle, another puzzle <laughs> was laid out before them. Through a lot of dumb luck, they were able to find their way through this maze, uh, consisting of opening closing doors and turning statues, and made their way to the treasure room, where they instantly thought it was far too easy to get this far, and something needed to be wrong. <laughs> so, uh, Amelia went back to get a cat that they had found, which then led her to being jumped by a Nothic that had been hiding within the, this uh, puzzle. An uh, old adventurer who had been trapped there and driven insane until he became a Nothic. Easily dispatched, once again... They returned to the room, opened the giant sarcophagus with inside, which held a rod and a circlet that they have yet to figure out what they do specifically. They know the circlet is the gift of the Sphinx, or is the rod is just extra treasure. And then our heroes, our champions, had four of the five needed magical items after they started heading out to the desert back to find a flail snail in the rainforest. And that is where we join our heroes. I do, I do need to mention one clarification. I think, I think there's been an obs, 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 obs okay, now I can't say words. Okay, we're gonna skip <laughs> that part then. But then also there was <laughs> a bit of a misrepresentation of the truth. <laughs> I believe yeah. we did not luck our way through that that uh, you luck that your puzzle. Way <laughs> we did exactly as we were supposed to for the reason we were supposed to. You um, your way and the that's puzzle. why we thought it was too easy. <laughs> because you turned we, were, a random we knew exactly how to do it, and it was like, wait, <laughs> what's the catch? They turned a random statue that opened the final door. It wasn't that they random were to figure out. We knew later. to change it. <laughs> <laughs> we knew to change it. It was the opposite. It was not the the specific door we were trying to change for, but we knew it had to be turned to change a door. So Ukrit's yelling to the skies with no response to him. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. are wondering. It's the one, it's the one god who keeps fucking speaking to us. But he keeps speaking to us about shit that we're like, no! <laughs> Did you ever notice uh, that all gods sound same? <laughs> yes, it's very weird. That I have a limited just... amount of voices I can do. <laughs> No, I'm just no, not, the same. I'm just joking, dude. You have yeah, I know, I know. different voices. <laughs> they just try yeah. to say a different accent and pretend they're different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Man. what are you guys gonna do now? <laughs> I am tired. Do we have any sort of time time schedule, or should I? Could we take nappy nap? Well, I believe we're on an island without a boat, so we're meant to be here. So. I figure we start a village. There's mm. a few trees we could cut down, build a house, make a nice um sanitarium, a library even, perhaps. What do we build hammock? I Why do we need a sanitarium? Use the bathroom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do not just go in Don't. water? Well, I'm not going to 
not going to feces where I fish. Hmm. Why not? They do but it. But the fish do. Yes. It's a big ocean. Yes, but they usually do it out in the water where it sinks down below. If I were to do it, it would probably just end up in the shores and someone would step in it. Hmm. Tis a possibility. A nap would be great. I would love just a short. I am down. very tired. It's just a short six hour. Oh, what do you think, Amelia? <laughs> she, uh, for some reason, can't talk. Um, <laughs> you guys want to She's take a long rest? Ignoring us. Does cat have tongue? Yeah, give them. <laughs> Uh, no, she just says something Savion very Tom. cute and endearing. <laughs> and... <laughs> you guys taking a long rest or a short rest? Long rest, yeah. Um, right. It is about midday at this point, so you'll probably wake up close to evening. So do with that. I mean, at, at a minimum, I, I you know, uh, we're we're kind of stranded on an island. Yep. Um, yeah. No real feasible way unless we build a raft and can somehow get it back to the mainland. Um, I mean, really, I, I, I Ukrit, I think Ukrit is was was half joking but half serious. Like, really, I mean, this is this is life now. <laughs> we just live on an island. Uh, no, 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 we were meant to be here. <laughs> we are best friends with tons of gods. One of them will just, you know, poofy poof us out of here. We will be fine. Oh, has has many of them helped us with travel? <laughs> I'm trying to think. There's <laughs> been a god that's helped us with travel. No. Not since I've been here. They've just kind of been like, hey, you want to go do this thing? I'll give you something. Hmm. What have we asked it's kind for of been... travel? Well, technically... I will say, Farika did get us out of the cave. She did give us potions that let us fly, that got us out of the cave. E? Okay. Alright, well, we'll just have to find one that'll turn us all into guppies and we can swim back. Could we be bigger than guppies? <laughs> Preferably. Just... I mean, possibly. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I imagine we're saying this as we're building hammocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. We're building a survival check. Everybody do a survival check for your hammocks. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Roll a hammock check. <laughs> <laughs> hammock check. Ooh, uh, bad hammock. I don't make a good hammock. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh! Whoa, I make a good hammock! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a rate. It'll do. Yeah, uh, it's an acceptable hammock. <laughs> Ukrin, Ukrin, Igor, you put up your hammocks. Uh, kind of, you're bigger creatures, so you kind of lower yourself into them, and they seem to hold, and you're able to lay down. Uh, Dyrim just kind of lays back onto his, and it just completely snaps, and he falls <laughs> on the ground. Mm -hmm. I just, like, smooth it back out. I mean, I prefer to lay out on the ground. It's better for my back, better support, just making a nice yeah. rug then. Um, so it is midday, so you guys don't need a fire if you don't want to, but are you going to take shifts, or are you just all going to sleep? Uh, Amelia Ukrit, also has a beautiful hammock. Ukrit <laughs> passes out immediately. I think, I think like being exhausted and then having to be in the desert and that maze and, and stuff, especially as a furred creature, is just even more exhausting. To deal with with that heat exhaustion, so he just he gets into that hammock. He's like, "Oh, all right, I think I can just sit here for a bit and read." And then that like sun and cool breeze and the shade just hit him all at once. He's like, "Just out." Yeah, it's being a Leonin, you're used to that hot savanna, so it's not so much the heat as it is that gosh darn humidity. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take the first watch. You'll take the first watch. All right. <laughs> um, so Diarim and Mia can go to sleep. Uh, Ukrit already is. Uh, Igor, do a perception check for me, please. Mm. A twenty-three. Okay. Okay. Igor, what do your cow eyes see? <laughs> what do your cow eyes? <laughs> um. 
So what what are you what are you thinking about while you're sitting here on your nice little hammock? Uh, my nice little hammock. I, I'm breeze. thinking three steps ahead. I'm thinking how are we getting off this island? You know, is this is this a good tree to cut down? You know, that kind of stuff. Make a boat out of this. <laughs> trying, trying to think of a raft to make is what you're thinking. Yeah. Not to cut down trees for fun. I feel like that doesn't feel like it's three steps ahead. I think you're gonna stop there. A, how do we get off this island? B, is this a good tree? You you guys know how you make rafts, right? You gotta make it out of trees. Wood from trees. I thought you were gonna make like plants for the kraken. Like that's where three steps ahead is. We should fight the kraken from our raft. That seems like a good idea. (laughs) Um. You are, as you are sitting there thinking about how good these trees are, um, you actually start to hear trees like they. It sounds like, it sounds like wood is snapping and like as trees are being pushed to the side almost. You don't hear like footsteps or anything, but it sounds like someone's pushing through the trees and something big. It will save us time from having to cut those ones down. Oh, perhaps yes. I should. Wake them up, or maybe it'll walk past. Hmm. Decisions. Um, (laughs) While you're trying to decide, um, not too long, towering above you is a feminine figure. Um, she's carrying a, like, a spear, and she has... (laughs) (laughs) I knew you would. Uh, she she has six horns, like, two smaller ones on the top, uh, kind of medium ones that come out, and then two enormous ones that are almost down at her shoulders. Um, and she has this long white hair. Uh, the hair is like draped all over the place. Some of it goes and twirls around the top of her spear, um, and some of it actually comes over the front of her eyes, making it look like she can't see anything. Um, but you see that she is like looking straight at you. You know, everything about you says that you are evil and I should not trust you, but I see you have nice spear. So, how do you do? I see that you also have a spear, mortal. One you should not have. I was given spear. What do you mean? Yes, you would. Heliod is far too egotistical and thinks that he does everything right and just gives the mortals more powers than they should have. Look, I understand where you're coming from. I do. I will give Spear back once we save world. It is our destiny. Do you not Um, want the world to be saved? The world would be saved if needed to be. Not by what the gods do. You you should meet my friend. (laughs) I know very much of your friend. (laughs) I know very much about all of you. What is your name? I'm Clothis, the goddess of destiny. And I've come here to balance what needs to be balanced. No. <laughs> no, you uh, Igor, no. can you close pass. your character sheet for a second? <laughs> no. I'll pass. Thanks, though. <laughs> no. That's, that is not happening. I am sorry. Um, she points. I will the fight sheet. you. huge spear at you um that has their hair wrapped around it could uh you can have your character sheet open actually because i need you to do a i just closed it you son of a gun well open it again for a second because i need you to do a saving throw for me uh i need a charisma saving throw Mm. i guess this is a disadvantage isn't it though doesn't matter uh No, no, saving throws throws. aren't at disadvantage currently, um, and you do have your aura. That's pretty good. Um, So she still points the spear at you, and it lights up. Now close your character sheet for me, please. Ah. There Um, you go, sir. Thank you. I'm going to do a couple things. I'm glad we're just sleeping through this. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you're just sleeping through this. I think Igor would have learned after the last god of the interaction to, like, wake us up when it happens. (laughs) You think Igor learns? <laughs> I was I was thinking this thing might potentially walk past if we don't make a scene. I didn't realize it was locked into me. 
That's, that's Please. Weird. How many <laughs> how many interactions am I <laughs> How many times have I woken up from a from a sleep to not have any spells because we're a me <laughs> like in some kind of altercation? <laughs> um so you're good to open your character sheet again. Uh, so she she points a spear at you and it lights up. Um and then she kind of pulls it back and as she does so she just slowly uh evaporates for lack of a better term, just like slowly disappears and there's like no sign that she was ever there the trees aren't pushed aside at all from what you can tell she couldn't even <laughs> leave us that <laughs> <laughs> you found what I changed and we're super mad about it you're just mad about the tree <laughs> yeah that's that's the encounter you have during your watch one of the okay. gods came you can thank chat later. You 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 did take away something, correct? Yes. I am okay I with this. <laughs> the, she things. did not take my spear, so you know. I, yeah, you still have you still have the that spear. That's all that matters. Both spears? Just one. Yeah, you still have both spears. No, I don't see the other one. I, mean, I didn't take away your original spear. Oh, okay. It was oh, it was a pike, right? I forgot. <laughs> The one that you abandoned so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, do you uh, want to do anything else on your on your watch, or well, you can send it off to the next? Yeah. After she after she comes here and like threatens to take away my spear, I assumed uh, I start rifling through my stuff. What did she take? Uh, do a perception check at disadvantage. How well does Ruth know his character? Um, <laughs> you don't you don't see anything missing? All of your stuff is there. Yeah, interesting. Hey, okay. well then, that was weird interaction. But not surprising. I mean, many a gods like to talk to Igor, so okay. I think it's about time I wake Dairim up. I'll go over to Dyrim, shake him up. Mm. Shake him up. All right. Yeah, you wake up, Dyrim. Anything interesting happen? Uh, just Anything of note? Standard uh, run-of-the-mill god thing. It, <laughs> just be on lookout. A big woman with spear. She's she kind of threatened me, but I think I proved my point and she went away. Did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, nothing else happened? Everything's good? Everything's Gucci? No, I mean, she was talking about <laughs> taking something and making balance and this sort of thing, but, uh... Yeah, I think I scared her off. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, good job, buddy. Good job. You go <laughs> rest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dyrum, if you do a perception check, you're still at disadvantage because you've only had four hours so far. Hopefully four hours. Uh, I mean, you okay. guys are rolling I mean... like a monster, so still good. Um, what do you want to do on your short or your watch? Sorry. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't think Farika can help us out that much. Like at the situation. She probably could, but also, like, eh, limited availability of things in her realm. Um, so I think I'm just, like, chilling. Probably if Amelia would have let me flipping through her cool little encyclopedia of plants, just like, hmm, yes, cool, yeah. interesting. Um, and that type of stuff. Otherwise, nothing in particular. Um, so as you are sitting here flipping through the book and like, you look up every once in a while, make sure nothing's approaching... Um, you start to see the sky change colors. Uh, it turns from this brilliant blue, and it's like the sun doesn't go down, at least from what you can tell, but it starts to get very kind of it looks like it's getting cloudy, um, and the clouds are very purplish with the blues in it, and it almost looks like there's a bunch of stars in the sky, but the sun didn't go down. It's still daytime from what you're aware of. Uh, I, I don't think my, this would be recognizable to you specifically. Um, immediately, like with my quarter staff, just like from where I'm standing, sitting, I just like poke everyone and be like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey! Something's happening." <laughs> what? 
I want to sleep. If it's God, just send it away. <laughs> hmm. yeah, anybody that wakes up enough to look around you would see the sky changing colors and appearance hmm. it looks familiar to you Igor. looks familiar to me but I am too dumb to know <laughs> this, <laughs> where this looks like <laughs> this looks a lot like when you uh, like talk to Heric uh, Heraclos in person. Um, when you talk to Karametra, the the surrounding area is like this as well. Uh, Does it look like Nyx? Yes. I'm trying to remember. I think Igor knows that that's not actually Nyx that he sees when he goes there. It's like a back simulation of it. I think somebody told you that. I can't remember. Um, okay. But yeah, this looks like what that was. No, we are probably okay. This is this is good thing. This is just a uh, Nyx sort of thing. Mm. Um, and this was in recent. It was like f uh, four or five days ago that you were told this. Um, but rumor has it that this island disappeared at certain points. Um, from mm. Theros, so. Hmm. That could be, that could make getting back more difficult as well. If we're just in Nyx now. Yes, I mean, eventually we'll come back, I'm sure, and then we will, by then we will have boat. Cool. I'll just keep an eye out for anything that lives in Nyx. Hmm. Or we could all die. And then move. No, never mind. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know how that works out. out. I... <laughs> <laughs> Still have sleepy brain. Yeah, I mean, I'll shout if something exciting happens, but, you know, just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page. Ooh, ooh, hold on. If we are, like, in Nyx, perhaps, uh,. We can contact gods easier. Hey, you're close! Yeah! Where are you? <laughs> of course. Hey, yo, hey, close! You up? <laughs> you are <laughs> religion check with disadvantage. <laughs> well, I was bro? wrong, because it's at disadvantage. <laughs> well, that's because you're still exhausted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Yeah, you don't hear anything. You don't know if it's because you're on the same plane, you're not able to talk to each other uh, through traditional means of praying, or if he just isn't listening. Maybe he's talking to Theodore. Oh, no, oh, that's not it. <laughs> or maybe another new champion. Hmm. Eh. He didn't. He didn't pick up. Yes, uh, you know he's busy, God. Happens. Happens. Mm -hmm. Well, I will go to sleep. Let me know if he shows up. He's got curly <laughs> hair. Do. I'll, muscular I'll take build. a message. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody can go back to sleep, and Diarm can continue his watch. Is there? Uh, it didn't seem like you want to do anything else, but if, if there is, now that you're in Nyx, let me know. Um, otherwise, we can do final. Which... Uh, the only thing I would look at is, like, did anything on the island itself change? Like, do the plants look different? Does anything seem to be acting weird? No, it, it seems everything else, everything else seems to be normal other than the sky around you. Okay. Yeah, I think after, like, testing that out, making sure gravity's all the same, and, like, the sand is still sand and not weird things. I don't know. Of course, um, rough. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um... I mean, traditionally, Amelia then would take the third watch, which yeah. I'm sure will pass, with nothing uh, happening whatsoever. Actually, after about eight hours, Ukrit just bolts awake. <laughs> <laughs> I must have overslept. I... He's seen that it's dark out, and he's realizing that it's he's thinking it's just nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, I... I must have passed out. I don't know what hit me. I 
It was strange. I was not expecting anything like that. I just, you know, you just sit in the, you sit in your hammock and it's just the, the cool breeze and you're out. Oh, anything good happen? Uh, we're in Nyx now. Remember how the island occasionally goes into Nyx and then just like point to the weird starry sky? Oh, that makes sense then. Mm -hmm. So we're good. We can get out. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this works. Well, I, I mean, I guess there's no longer an ocean we have to traverse. Yeah, where? Yeah, space, where is it? We're we're in a very Stop. different space now. So, I mean, uh, the sky is the only thing that's changed. Like, there's still the rainforest around you. I don't know how far you went in the rainforest. Um, the desert's still there. If you were so close to the desert, yeah. I I imagine the entirety of the island isn't here, but if it's the island that disappears into Nyx, the water's still in the the regular Pharos, right? So it should be easier for us to travel in Nyx. How do you travel in Nyx? Do you just walk? Can you fly? I tried flying. I tried jumping. Gravity's the same. Well, I assume the same way, um, you know, most gods travel. You just go. Okay, you work on just going short distances. I'm going to nap for a little bit. Oh, oh, are we not? What do you... I just like... need, like, an hour. Just give me an he, hour, he... just, to, like, quick cat, cat nap. He sees everyone else, like, passed out, too. Like, oh! Is... How, how long was I out? Hmm, you know, a couple hours. It's hard to tell when the sky went weird. And... Oh. Oh, I guess I slept less than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> must be this... Must be this humidity. It's really getting mm. to me. All right, yes. well, you go take your nap. I'll um, I'll go explore the island. <laughs> mm, stay close, because <laughs> we're gonna be sleeping so that nothing kills us in our sleep. What? What would kill us? What have we found on here that sort would kill us? I mean, gods have a tendency to show up. We're also in Nyx. We don't know if something's just gonna come out of there. Maybe. Just, all right. <laughs> just, you know, stay within eyesight of all of us. I'd appreciate it. Just of as course, long as you can keep an eye on all of us. If, Great. Yep. If I am meant to be, then I will be here. <laughs> You're meant to be here. And just like, <laughs> <laughs> throw my head over my head and go to sleep. <laughs> all right. Um... Yeah, and I start walking, <laughs> start exploring the island some. I want to go see it. Like, I don't know how far it. Like, if we're, if I'm able to, I at least want to go see the coastline. Uh, I don't know if I have to like climb a tree or if I have to wander a while. I don't know how long. Um, like, but... you do a survival check to try and retrace the path that you guys took to get here. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I just start you walk for a while, and you're like, I've seen this before. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, you are completely lost in the forest by yourself, Kurt. It seems as though, no, I was wrong. We are meant to just be on the island forever. <laughs> this is what was meant. <laughs> um, I, I guess after, uh, you know, like an an hour of wandering, um, <laughs> I, I would go back. Uh, and, and I guess I, I would sit there and I would try to figure out anything about the uh, the Millennial Rod we have. Yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, who had the circlet and who had the rod? I had the rod, so I was gonna um, check it out. And I, I oh, think I'm gonna, I had yeah. the staff. You had the staff. I thought I grabbed the staff. I thought I had the staff, but you could also have the staff. Yeah, because because I remember I was gonna. I said I was. I wanted to uh, um, check it out whenever we got a short rest. So. Oh yep 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 yep. Yeah, you can do that. Um, I don't see it on Amelia's, sh so okay. if you guys want to have it, you can. I know I didn't have the circlet because I, I I have not been collecting the yeah, items yeah, yeah, specifically, yeah. so yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't yeah. have either either of those, so. Oh. Uh, 
Did, uh, did any of us take the gift? <laughs> we did take it. I just don't think we were specific about who has who, it on their has okay. it today. Yeah. I mean, I'll check my inventory. Oh, shit. What if that was the thing that was taken? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> also. I, I'm pretty Ooh. sure I didn't take it, but that would be But now, really I'm, now that I realize you weren't paying attention to whether or not you had it, I... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was either you or Amelia. <laughs> I think it's Amelia. <laughs> Camp, if you're in the chat, save us. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, she's the only thing holding this group together. <laughs> That's why I have her in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can tell when she's not here. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so you're checking over this uh, mm -hmm. this rod. Um, you know that it is magical because you're not using like a because Ugra doesn't have that. No. Yeah. Um, you know that it has magical charges of some sort uh, that because you've had it for so long you would be able to cast. Okay. Uh, but you're not sure what that would be because you don't have means of finding out specifically why or what. Okay. All right. Seems to only have one charge, though. Oh, has one charge. Okay. Yep. All right. That's 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 uh, good enough for me. All right, can you do a perception check for me? Hold on. Just right. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, do you want my passive because I have just been. Yeah, if, he, if you rod. think he wasn't actually pay, like actually doing a no, watch, he, he wasn't fine. taking watch. Uh, yeah. Fifteen is my passive. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, nothing, at least from what you're aware of, uh, happens while you're on your watch. Okay. Uh, and everybody can wake up. And have we decided who has the circlet then? Uh, are we just giving it to Amelia or just like probably just Amelia? Okay, we'll say Amelia has it. She has it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I'm awake now. Yes. Great. Has Ukrit found his way back? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He, I, I did that. After, after, after. I, I wandered for like an hour and then, gotcha. and then came back and did all my stuff, prepped mm. my spells, um, mm. did all my stuff. Looking around, we still in Nyx? Still in Nyx. No exhaustion. Your points are back to normal, and oh, I'm also going to fix them. Cool. Where were my points again? Uh, um, strength was 19. <laughs> Uh, was it Dex was eight, I think. Yeah, your Dex went up by one. Your strength yeah. went down by one. Yeah, it should be fixed now. Okay. Um, I think I fixed. If Cam's in the chat, I put it up by five. I think that's how much you're missing. It might have been six. So. It. I think it was five. That that sounds familiar to me at least. Yeah. No, I think no, I think it was six because they rolled they rolled a five minus one plus one. Oh, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it. The number the, five is what if sounds it's wrong. Right that she can fix so. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or keep the extra strength point. That's true. Uh oh. So I, I went and wandered the island. Uh, it's all forest now. <laughs> so you didn't stay within eyeshot of us. No, when we I... were unconscious. <laughs> Why would I? Have? We were sleeping. I mean, I. I asked if you could so that we didn't get murdered in our sleep. Oh, and you weren't. Hmm. <laughs> and it was because mm. there was nothing to worry about. No. Or if there was something to worry mm. about, I would have been there. Oh, okay. yes. That, okay. that is right. Uh, <laughs> I met someone that may be of interest to you, Ukrit. Oh! You know you don't who say. Clothis is. Yes. He came here. Okay. And you didn't get a ride out? You know, I, I tried to talk to her, but all she she wanted to take, not give. Oh, yep, yep. That makes sense. You've been given a lot. Uh, but uh, she spoke much like you do. You know, all about destiny and... Destiny? You know, <laughs> yes. Not my thing. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, that tracks. That tracks. So, let us uh, go forth, find Snail, build the raft. Yep, let's start with the Snail. Could we build I a boat? Just... 
Everywhere. Oh, do the snails back? Probably not. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how big the snails are. But that's fine. I guess it's made first. of metal, so it's probably harder. Snail was made out of metal. The the back, the the flail snail's shell. Really? It's made of. It's got. Yes, it's like made of metal, isn't it? I had no Wasn't idea. That a thing? Was that not a thing think, we discussed? I, I don't remember discussing that. That may be something Ukrit discussed in his head and just like came back. I think I'm thinking it. of an actual snail that lives <laughs> in, in volcanoes. <laughs> uh, that has a shell that's made out of metal. Um, I might really, have conflated the two. <laughs> surely metal would sink if you put it in water. Yes, that's what but I was wondering. I wasn't but sure. But the only logical thing. It is heavy, so sink. Let's, you know, we'll deal. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's find one of these snails. Maybe. Oh, you know where the bridge is. Hmm. I. That would be helpful. Swear diary. to the gods above. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you. <laughs> I just start walking off with Amelia. <laughs> it skips along behind you. Um, oh. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to do a survival check to try and figure out where you can find a snail at. We were told they were just littering this assist. island. <laughs> we have not oh, seen what? any. <laughs> I, was, I was going to assist. You were in the desert for the majority of this. Oh, you're going to help. So, Nat 20? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you, uh, so, you travel through the forest for a little bit, um, but it doesn't take long until you come across a clearing. Uh, and you see in front of you this uh, enormous creature. The body looks very slimy and gooey, and it's like a brownish yellow for the majority of the body up until it gets to where the head would be. But there's like some kind of, they kind of look like tentacles where a mouth would be on this thing. Um, and you don't see any eyes, but above that stand five long stalks where at the top it it slowly gets lighter yellow until it turns red and at the top there's these like they they look like balls at the top but are spiked um and the and they the antenna like will wave every once in a while and on this thing's back is this enormous shell that seems to glow with rainbow patterns and is like it's bluish overall but there's like rainbow shimmers that go up and down the shell of this thing does it look like it's made out of metal (laughs) you can assume (laughs) that this is a flail snail um i'm gonna take that as a no <laughs> I think I just conflated a real snail. If you take thing. a, you can take a nature check if you're trying to figure out this thing is made out of metal. I thought you were stating that it's made out of metal. That's why I didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> I, I legit thought we talked about this. Yeah, so that's, that's why I'm thinking. I just, so I think I just am just conflating it with a real snail that you're I read right, about. You're right, I think <laughs> yeah, that is made thing, of metal. Yeah, that <laughs> that shell is so shiny it, it couldn't be anything Must other than be. that. We could make fine spear out of this. Yeah, you can see this thing is slowly moving along the ground. Every once in a while, like when it gets to a rock, it'll start. It'll put the tentacles on the rock and start. Uh, it looks like it's sucking on the rock, and behind it, it leaves this very slimy trail that has sparkles and shines as well. Does it does it look like it's crawling onto the rock, or is it just crawling to the rock and doing its thing? Um, some of the rocks it'll climb onto, but because of its sheer size, it just kind of runs over rocks at some points, too. Um, like, the flails stand taller than Igor. Like, the whole body is probably about the same size as Ukra and Igor, but the flails stand up taller than you guys. Okay, final question. Shell yes. size. Does it look like we could turn it into a boat? Or, like, uh, multiple boats? It could be a boats. boat for Amelia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's about the size of this thing. It's big enough that you know you would have needed the portable hole to transfer it. It wouldn't fit into a normal yeah. bag of So we could... So it's like a, almost like a... like a, When you have a motorcycle and you have the little, like, sidecar attached to it, we could have four sidecars attached to each other as a as a raft. I was kind of going for it. Flail snails. Yeah. Well, we gotta, you know how, we like, gotta get fi- have... We have to kill five. Those, yeah, like, old-school yeah. canoes had, like, the, the attachment on the side for the... Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, it's like that. And we'll just have four of them. Um, we'll canoe in in that, uh, and we'll have a fifth one in the in the hole. Um, this this thing's slowly moving across the earth, and we'll stop at rocks, and like it looked like when it, it'll suck on the rock for a little bit, and as you watch the rock almost looks to disintegrate as it's like picking on this rock mm. um and amelia will she'll like tug on igor's arm and she'll point up to a tree where you can kind of see like it looks like something sitting up there it looks white but you're not entirely sure what it is um it's not moving so you don't know if it's going to be an issue or what's going with it Igor uses hand binoculars, doesn't help. Does the flail snail seem to just be ignoring us? Yeah, it's just like going about its business. It doesn't even like regard that you're there. Okay. I I repeat back that I see that white thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Everybody... He, yeah, he points it out and you can see that there is something sitting up in the tree there. What kind of check should I make to know if I know what it is. Arcana, um, from, here, or... from here, you can't really tell. You'd have to get closer to okay. that tree. The tree is about... It's about 50 feet out, but just because of how many branches there are, you can tell there's something there, but you can't... So just like, you can't even make the shape of what stuff. it okay. is. Yeah. Um, whatever. Um... <laughs> My yeah, quite now, my God, my consideration is I don't know if my, it just is now occurring to me that I don't know if that plan to make an illusion is going to matter to this thing because it doesn't see, and <laughs> I don't know how it senses mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause it, it's not that it has to see it. Uh, oh, I guess it is just a, but it's like planted in their mind. Oh, I guess it includes sound, temperature, and other stimuli. So I think that would make sense. Because if it's just, if it's feeling out, it's going to think that there's a thing there. Right. Okay, I'm going to lay out the hole onto right. the ground. Uh, and I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and cast uh, Phantasmal Force um, to try and make a delicious, decent-sized rock appearing over where would be the hole. Okay. Hoping to lure it in to just roll over that rock. So and is is the rock just like floating in the center of this hole? No, so, so like you've got the hole. In... You've got the hole and it, it'll be like a it'll be like ground with the rock. On it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um so uh, it would what? it so um it's an intelligent saving throw to make this happen. Well, I just threw that off my desk. Let's try a different rock shaped like ice oh. cream or something. Like what is Yeah. Like it's yeah. like it's a nice got some nice minerals in there like like uh Yeah, like, like you see this thing is is um it's been working on this rock and then suddenly it like turns its body it's the flails kind of bounce. Um and it appears to be looking in the direction of this phantasmal force, and it starts slowly crawling its way over. Okay. No one makes a sound. It's Are you guys just like standing out in the open doing this? I, I imagine we're like, I, I imagine I'm not, I like, <laughs> yeah, like we've distanced ourselves away to let it just get into the hole. We're hoping that this uh, is like, like, like a regular trap. It'll just, yeah, it'll do- just go. Do a stealth check for Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use one of my uh, uh, results. Uh, I think I dreamt about this moment, so I got a 16. Yeah, 16. Okay. Got two 14s and a 16. I No, I got a 9, technically, because I have chain mail or whatever. Oh, that's right. Um, and Amelia also has that. So. Jingle, jingle, jangle. Jingle, 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 jingle. It's all that salt in the armor. It's just making Ugh. like really Ugh. grindy sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what Amelia is. I'll actually change my name so it shows up as Amelia. So she Amelia, got a f- you rolled so well. Um, and this thing. 
She has smaller armor, so there's less salt in hers. Too. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to be regarding where you guys are at, and the friends is just going for this rock. Um, if a snail could haul, it's it's moving pretty quick for what a snail would be. Um, and as it gets to the edge of this hole, like it the the front of the body, like it's going forward, like it's going to try and get this rock, but then the front of the body kind of goes over the edge and it catches itself there um, as it's slow, because it's like the goo of its body is able to catch on to the hole as it's trying to like reach out to this rock. Uh, how like far it's trying to touch it with the I will say the target right rationalizes there. any illogical outcomes from interacting with the phantasm. So it says, Sorry. for example, a target attempting to walk across a phantasmal bridge that spans a chasm falls once it steps onto the bridge. If the target survives the fall, it still believes that the bridge exists and comes up with some other explanation for it. All right, yeah, it'll it'll continue and to move the forward. The target is so convinced of the phantasm's reality that it can even take damage from the illusion. Okay, yeah, so it'll keep moving forward then, but it's like crawling down the side of the instead of because. Because it's okay. a snail, it can't just like fly off. It would right, right. be like moving down. So it just goes and, like, and then reach up. Yeah. Okay. So if it if it's like in, we can just run in there and like rip up the hole then. Well, it's yeah. in there. Just just not not rip it if I like. Go go go, go go go. <laughs> He's in there. He thinks there's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys run up to rip up this hole. I will say this is gonna really suck once we like bring it back and we open it up. The place snail's still alive. In the middle of the town, and it just starts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it'll suffocate by then. But <laughs> um, we'll just have rotting snail in there. As you guys well, salted and preserved, <clears throat> make a wisdom saving throw. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, so I don't have. Oh, the aura. Yeah, aura. Yeah, so I got 23. 23, uh, 25, yeah, you guys, yeah. So, like, as you go forward, the thing kind of looks where you're coming from, and the shell starts to glow really brightly, but you're able to swipe up the hole um, before it can do anything. You start folding it up, but you see the trees around you start to shake as well, um, especially the one where that white object was. And I need you guys to... Initiative. Whoa, yes. Wait, who, who I mean, it? Shake big. Shake the hole. <laughs> Why? Oh, right, so the salt. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I do. So I, I imagine I like, clearly fold it and I just start shaking it. <laughs> like, yeah, crazy, you don't, you don't know it if it's doing something. anything or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I have no idea if it does anything. Um... Oh, I forgot to click my dude. That's fine. I can just add it. <laughs> Me and Igor are so focused on the shaking this bag that we have no initiative. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys do have one, and you just can't see. Um, what's what's your dex? I assume higher than. Yours. I have a five in dex. Maxed out. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and then he's a go. No need to work. Totally fine. Everything's fine. We fought gods. We fought demigods. We fought our I don't... hunger. Well, some of us did. I took one taste of that banana and I was like, no thanks. It is not my <laughs> fault. I have eight stomachs. <laughs> <sighs> Why you sigh at me? It's fine, Igor. Better. How many stomachs do a cow have? Is it just three? Four. Four? Just four. Yeah, oh, it's I four. Said eight. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't <laughs> sure either. Like, I thought. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was like Only Minotaur one. humor or. <laughs> yeah. Four like, you guys... how you refer to a Minotaur who eats a lot. <laughs> you yeah. guys, as you swipe up the snail hole and start shaking it, thinking that it's moving the snail inside of it um <laughs> moving the space inside of it um you start to hear from the trees just, oh, oh, as things start to drop out of the tree um and you see four <laughs> large white primates um prime yeah primates primates <laughs> um it's, it's a hard word when i said it out loud i'm like it should be primate but no it's primates um 
these large white apes, and they have these hulking front arms and two smaller arms, like, clutched to their chest. Uh, that are looking like they're gonna charge you as you woke them from their rest. Uh, as, they, as they come down and start making those sounds, and me and <laughs> me and I, Igor are focused on the bag, uh, 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 Ukrit hears that, those, those sounds, he's like, Oh, Dyrum, you're very... <laughs> <laughs> More excited about this than I thought, and I, then I turn around and I see the other thing. Oh! Yeah, they're, um, the closest one to you is about 40 feet. There's like, there's two that came out of the ferns on the ground, they're about 40 feet, and two drop from trees, and they're each about 50 feet out. Um, I'm gonna run up to one of the primates. And smack it with my staff. I got 45 feet of speed, so I can right, yep. so get up to one. one of the fern ones. 15? A 15 will hit. Great. Uh, 7 damage. Hit it again. Ooh, that one misses. Um, That one hits. Oh, it hits. It Great. does. These are just big, Another. fat monkeys. Sorry, they're not monkeys, they're apes. I can't be cool. promoting that kind of... Some might call them incorrectness. apes. <laughs> um, okay, then I'm gonna do Flurry of Blows to punch this monkey. Ape. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> I'm gonna pump a Hand of Harm into it. It's now also poisoned. Boy. And then I'm gonna hit it one more time. Stinking monk sound will hit. A lot of 13s right in a row. 8. Yeah, it, you know, Roll20 loves certain numbers. It's true. Yeah, so and Dyer, that's all I got. Dyer <laughs> runs up to one of these uh, gorilla like creatures and just starts punching the, the snot out of it. Just hits it twice with a bow and then punches it a couple times. Um, some necrotic damage comes out of one of his fists. And that is his turn. Amelia is going to her turn. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't be bothered to run her. She will heal you if you need it. Um, yeah, so, she's just going to hang out. Just, yeah. just say thunder's happening right now. <laughs> so, yeah, thunder's happening right now. Uh, two, uh, two of these things start rushing the two that drop from the trees start rushing towards you, Igor, and Ukrit but they aren't quite able to make it to you on their turn they're about 10 feet away from you guys um, Igor, it's your turn I am sorry, I cannot train you uh, properly, you have to go with this this guy over here if you want to be, no, I'm just kidding, I'm making a Pokemon reference that was really bad, okay um, <laughs> Primeape, anyways yeah um, I will clear that distance on closest one to me charging up with my spear it's totally not weakened in any way shape or form no um i charge up and just ram the spear into this thing's tummy no i don't um i'm assuming no, I'm 12 yeah it like it you ram it at its stomach but you're don't see that it's got these two smaller arms as one of the arms grabs your spear as you try to go in and then, you know, I miss, he grabs it, and I kind of, like, pull it back, and then I go in for a second jab. Uh, 15? That one will hit. Hey. Yeah, you get this, you jab the spear in, um, and it seems like there's a little less light coming off the spear than you're used to. I'm a bitch! It does, it does, it does still uh, hit and do some significant damage. I will kill this Clothis. It's the last <laughs> thing I do. Um, I will then just you know just to be a dick. I'm just gonna uh hammering horns and push him back five feet. Or I'll try and knock him prone. Is that an option? I think so. Uh, I believe so. If it's a shove action, then yes. I mean, after you hit a creature with a melee attack, you make an attack and blah 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 bonus action. Attempt to shove that target with your horns. It doesn't say anything about knocking prone. This yeah, shove, shove. Shove. You can choose to either push them okay. or knock them. Or knock prone. All right. Uh, it's a. Uh, Your athletics. I won't do that. <laughs>
yeah, you got a nat 20. He's like, you go to push, mm. you hit him with your horns, he just grabs your horns and kind of forces you down in your charge. Uh, it doesn't actually knock you prone, but flavor and embarrassment, he does like redirect you yeah. towards the he ground. Mentally knocks does. me prone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Ukrit. Okay, I was gonna ask if, if, if he was. 10 feet away using a spear or not, but if he's charging at him, that, that's definitely not the case. Uh, and then I actually have a, a, a question for the DM. Yes. Uh, I need a ruling on how you're going to interpret this. All right. So one of my uh, divine prophets was a nat 20. Okay. If I attack with this, is this going to be a crit? Uh, yes. Or is, Yes? Okay. Good to know. Um, I am going to, <sighs> that's a question. Uh, I see them coming out. I guess I'm, I am, ooh, yeah, what do I do here? For a reminder, there's two that are 40 feet away from you. Dyrum's currently fighting one of them. Uh, yeah. There's two that are about 10 feet and yours fighting one of them. Yeah. Um, I am going to ignore that for now. Okay. But I am going to do a... I'm going to angle myself to not get Yigor in this. I'm going to, like, pivot so he's not in the way of this. And I'm going to do a fourth level burning hands Okay. on them. Um, and also... Actually, hold on. Let me... I just, I want to know if this makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah, and I'm gonna use my my tides tides of chaos um, to an advantage on this attack. Okay. Um, what is that? What did I just do? That that was an attack. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a deck. It is a deck. It is a deck. Yeah, it's a saving throw. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Clear. So I, I need a. Okay, yeah, I need a. I need a deck save. They're going to succeed that. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, I'll say you're able to get two of them in. Like, two of them came from different trees, so they weren't exactly in the same spot, but you were able to, like, move in a way that you could get the two that were 10 feet it, it's, You are attacking it's, the Igor ones. Oh, because right? it's a 15-foot cone, so I just didn't know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd, okay. yeah, I'd, I'd let you get two of them in there. But, yeah, they're both yeah. going to do deck saves here. Uh, first succeeds. one gets a 18. Yeah, that succeeds. And second one gets a 11. Oh, that one fails. Holy crap. Yeah. That is wild. <laughs> um, I am. So that was 3d6, but I need to add three more, d more six. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be mm -hmm. 25 in total for fire. 25. So yeah, this one that uh, just like pushed Igor into the ground, wasn't able to catch himself before this, uh, this cone of fire came at him and he's starts to get singed up and then the so one much. who succeeded takes half so Just take half. okay cool yeah um it's 20. 12. Uh, so i just like kind of like da anime dash to the side of where they were at and then i like throw up some like powders and like and a cone of fire <laughs> envelops them <laughs> Yeah, so like that first one just takes the brunt of it and like the white hair is being singed off his body and the other one he gets a little bit like crosses it crosses back as he tries to duck out of the way um and then it's the two that are closest to Dyrum. so the first one that you are up on is going to attack you uh um, he has disadvantage because i poisoned him he does but also gets a lot of attempts at this well, so, still. Uh, he's going to swing at you with his first arm. Okay. Um, that one's going to miss with a... G -g -g, uh, 10. Yep, misses. The first swipe misses, swings with his second larger hand uh, for a... 13. Misses. The, the two smaller hands come up to try and punch you in the gut. Uh... 16. Misses. And the second smaller hand is going to miss as well with a 15. Nice. Um, and then he tries to bite you with he's got these large curved tusks on the bottom jaw and then 
gorilla teeth with the rest of his jaw. Uh, but also disadvantage, <laughs> well, he's gonna he miss with ape. another 15. Gorillas are apes, oh. it turns out. <laughs> um, but then the other one runs up to you and he doesn't have disadvantage. He gets all five attacks Ooh. as well. So, uh, the bite will be that one. I'm just gonna look these all at once. Misses with the bite. Uh, okay. But there's a 20, 30, yep. 20, an 18. Yes. A 17. Miss. And the last one misses as well with a 12. So two fists hit. Two punchies. Uh, as these, like, again, he misses with the two bigger ones, but the two smaller ones kind of come from the sides this time uh, to try and scratch instead of punch. And not too much damage to you. Uh, 11 damage to you as these two smaller hands ah, just scrape bad. across your stomach. Um, and it is your turn, Dyer. Okay, okay. Um, great. Um, we're gonna try. I'm going to hit the monkey that hit me with my quarter staff to start. Are you missed because there's no monkeys? <laughs> hit the eight that hit me. <laughs> yep, that hit. <laughs> um. And then, so that is 11 damage to them. I'm also going to do a stunning strike with that. So they need to do a constitution saving throw, please. Constitution saving throw. And are they still, well, I don't think the poison matters for this, right? But are they, they're still poison no, that's just your turn, right? Yeah, but that's just ability checks. Okay, cool. Um, Con, they got a 17. Okay, well, that'll succeed. Um, I'm just gonna keep laying into this other ape then. The other one, not the same one? Right, I'm gonna go for the one that I hit the first round now. Okay. So, 13 damage to that one. And then I'm just gonna take one punch at him. Ooh, but I miss. I miss with that 11. Yes, you do miss with that 11. That's a 13 damage to this one. Yep, that's all I'm gonna do then. Alright. Save some key and maybe save my life later. Sounds good. Uh, Amelia is hiding in the bushes. These are some big, scary apes, uh, and she doesn't want to get involved with it. Uh, so, the one that's on Yigor, he is going to take his attacks on you. Uh, we have an 8, a 12, which I assume both miss, yep. an 11 that I assume misses, mm -hmm. a 21, oh, that one hit some bitch. and a nat 20. Yeah, those those will hit. All right, uh, they were both punches. So he like he goes to bite you, misses with that, and then as you're like trying to stand up from him putting you down, the two little ones try to go after you, but they also miss. But then he brings his two bigger ones up and swing them down at you. Uh, the first one will do eight damage, and then the second one, which is the crit doesn't do very much more it does 10 damage hey that's good total 18 um and there's one more who just dodged out of ukrit's fire so he's gonna run up to you ukrit that's fair um and he's going to take all of his attack do you have any reactions i don't want to roll everything at once and you end up missing a reaction when you need to do it or something um, I'll just, I'll just I would do a reaction depending on yeah. I'll the just roll it separately. Of it, I don't so... want to. I don't want to mess up people's reactions, so I'll start rolling separately. Uh, especially because I know the modifier now. Uh, Twenty three for the first one. All right, that hits. Um, and that will do. Uh, five damage. Oh, all right. Uh, second swing with his arms. That one will miss with a nine. Yep. Uh, um. Two smaller arms, uh, 24. That hits. 10 damage. Oof. All right. The last smaller arm, only a 10. Misses. And then he's going to try and bite you. Okay. For a 24. Hits. There was very no middle ground there. <laughs> it was either. <laughs> yeah. It was a 10 point difference in all it, of that. It That's... was a hit or miss. I guess they never. Yeah. Uh, for 10 damage. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, he's hitting you hard with the damage dice. Yeah. Um. So that is those two. 
Girlons. Igor, you are in combat with one who's been burned pretty badly. He's not looking great. It is time that you feel the wrath of Heraclos. You. <laughs> you. Uh, hold on. You haplower hinds. That's apparently a scientific word for primate. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't think you would know that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I will. I will uh, see he's weak and just stab away. Fourteen. Hit. Eight. Or seventeen. It, you stab this into him. How do you end this, uh, Rillon? Uh, yeah. He like for a minute. He like. I kind of do like a fake jab, and he like goes. To, he spins. And then I jab him right in that <laughs> that bulbous butt, and it just he explodes. Does, he does a pirouette, and then you pop his buttock. I don't think it was established that they have a bulbous butt. I'm, 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 I, I'm yeah, taking that was... creative freedom with this one. I I think you all have a problem differentiating different like species of ape. This is not a baboon. <laughs> this, this is now a baboon. Okay. <laughs> Oh. I believe a baboon is a type of monkey, is it not? Uh, yeah. yeah. Baboons are monkeys. Yeah, it's not a monkey. Tail. Too bad, this one had a bulbous butt. <laughs> and now it's been... <laughs> it was it specifically... has some very strong glutes, because yeah. that's uh, the yeah. so... Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I just blow, blow that one up. Yep. Um, and then I'll run over to the next nearest one. Okay. Yeah, the one um, that's engaging with Ukrit. Yeah, charging in with my uh, my spear once more with a big thrust. 24. That will hit. Or 16 punch. piercing. And you kind of stab him in the side as he's punching and biting in Ukrits and he roars out in pain. Um, but he's still there. Anything um, else from you? Um, I'm going to try and knock him down too. Screw it. All right. 21 this time. Hey. Hey, not too bad. Yeah, he gets knocked prone. Uh, he just looks up at you in disgust with your dirty move, hitting him from behind, knocking him to the ground. Um, and it's Ukris, sir. Um, seeing him just... How how is he? How does he look like he's doing? He... He's... I mean, he's looking fine, mostly. He's, he was looking better than the one that Igor just killed. Um, he okay. looks like he still has a lot of fight in him. He is prone currently, though. How about the ones that, um... Dyrim's fighting? Dyrim's fighting. One's look, starting to look a little haggard. Like, you can see there's, like, black necrotic energy starting to go up its arms. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one seems pretty good. Okay, um... I'm going to take a step back. Um, so if it wants its attacks, they're all at disadvantage. It's at disadvantage. Oh, yes, it is, it is going to take... I think it only gets the one reaction, though. It doesn't get yeah, it, it's like, just, uh, other things, Yeah, it's just one too. attack, Bob. Uh, yep, yeah, it's going to miss with a 10. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. So I, 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 he tries to swap, swipe at me. I, like, hop out of the way, um, and I'm going to third-level magic missile um, over at the one who's doing worse for wear. Um, for Dyrum? For, yeah, near Dyrum, just to help right. him, like, even the odds a bit there. Um... <laughs> Appreciate it. So it's going to be a uh, cast at third level. Uh, so twenty damage to it. Yeah, how do you kill him? Uh, yeah. So I, I go there and I and I send them out, and they all kind of like scatter. Um, so they don't like really hit them, and then and then like a hell zone grenade, they all just stop <laughs> right into him. All right. Yeah, he goes down. Um, get rid of him. But there is still one over there trying to fight you, Tyrim. And he's mm -hmm. going to take his move. So first swing is a 23. Yep. For... What's your modifier in here? I don't have any reactions, so you can just roll them all. Okay. Uh, well, the first one does seven. Here come the last okay. four. Uh, 14. Misses. 10. Misses. 24. Hits. And 16. Misses. It's only one more hit. Threw another dice. 
Uh, and it's seven damage on that one. Ooh, tasty. Okay. Oh, didn't go too far. Blank, blank. All right. Uh, Dyer, it's your turn. You got one last guy beating up on you. Great. I'm going to, like, give a little salute over to Ukrit for taking out that one and then just lay into this other one. Natural That's one. You're killed? That's what the heck? <laughs> um, there were two on me. <laughs> and I'm real nervous about that next round of combat with taking ten attacks. <laughs> just, <laughs> we can talk about kill stealing later. <laughs> so that's a big uh, twelve on your crit, huh? Yeah, you know, I roll twenty has not loved my two-handed attacks, but I'm gonna swing again. That one will hit. Hit, and that's 14, 14 damage. Better. Can't believe you rolled one away from getting another crit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, flurry of blows, 12, misses. that misses, right? Yep. Okay. 17, 17 though. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do that, and then I'm also going to pump a hand of harm for another 6 necrotic damage, and he is poison. All right. Yeah, he is poisoned as he takes this necrotic damage from you. It's necrotic damage from hand of harm, right? I'm not. I haven't been saying yes, that. Yes, it is necrotic. Yes. Okay. Anything else? That's everything that I can do. I've done all of my abilities. <laughs> Sounds good. Amelia is talking to some birds. Um, this. I mean, if Amelia wanted, if to Amelia wants to start so killing people. Yeah. <laughs> she'll, she'll heal you when you need it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like when we deserve it. <laughs> um, we earned it. This gorilla <laughs> will stand up and he's gonna turn on you, Igor, and start punching you. First one is a twenty-five. Yeah, that'll hit. <clears throat> for ten damage. Second one is only a twelve. Mm -hmm. Uh, third one is only a three. Sorry, you, fourth you're one out. Sorry, it was a 13, uh -huh. and then a 15. Okay, yeah, no, that, great. Um, that that last one, one, last one, he misses it once again with an 11. Hell yeah. Bunch of flurries. The first one connects, but he doesn't connect with anything else. Igor. <laughs> How's this one looking HP-wise? He is not looking great. Okay, great. Not and no, wait. he's fine. That's right. He he's wasn't fine. Getting... He wasn't yeah. getting beaten up as much. Yeah, he's, okay. he's still He good. took like a then, little bit of fire, but... Yeah, he took a little fire, bad. and you you stabbed him in the back once. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the way it happened. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll stab again. Um, and this one, I'm going to Divine Smite and say... Um, let the... Uh, let her clothes fill you with holy force. And I stab into him with this... Uh, Divine with Smite. Shitliad Spear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is none of my buttons working? Oh, here we go. Three Divine Smite damage. Wow, that's really pathetic, guys. <laughs> Why are you saying Why are you saying it to them like it's their fault? It's all your yeah. fault. It's your god. <laughs> <laughs> and 14. Go. I just gotta say... I'm pretty sure oh. Theodore would have at least gotten a four higher. <laughs> and then... Oh, he's, yeah, he's still standing. He, like, kind of scratches his stomach or you stabbed him and is just staring at you. Theodore Theodore needs it more than me, so, you know. <laughs> uh, however... Okay. Uh, so I will use a bonus action on that to uh, Inspiring Smite to heal um, Dyrim uh, for 2d8 plus my Paladin level. Is that your channel divinity? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I mean... you get 7 plus... What level are we now? 7? All right. You get 14 healing Dyrim. Ooh, is uh, that healing healing or temp HP? That's a really good question. I think it's temp HP. It's eight, it's temp, yeah. Okay. Still so that's works. my bonus action. Works just um, as good. And then I'll come in with my second attack. My extra attack. Your extra attack hits in 13 piercing. He's still standing. Son of a bitch. 
he, like you gash him pretty good, and he like he notices that when he's not just trying to brush it off like the last did, and uh, he looks very. Uh, Ukrit, there's two standing, one with Iron, one with Igor. Um, seeing that Dyrum is is in a better situation, uh, I don't want to get hit by this thing. He's he's seeming to be a little bit more of a challenge since I haven't put anything really into him. Uh, I'm gonna the one nearby. I'm gonna pop another third level uh, magic missile in. Um, it's kind of uh, uh, well, at least let me roll it. Um. 22 as I like as I turn my attention to him and I just like kind of like a like a revolvers uh fire off magic missiles and or like five magic missiles into him yeah you you fan the hammer at him fan the hammer and uh and as the first one comes up to him just kind of grazes his arm he just falls over dead And they just keep pummeling into his body. <laughs> Four, Some one child HP. comes out from the crumbs. <laughs> Four one HP gorilla. <laughs> yeah, stop! He's already dead. <laughs> All right, and there is one left, and it turns out it's his turn to fight Dyrum. He has a disadvantage. Um, so it's first, yeah, first one is an eighteen. That just hits. All right, cool. Uh, for eight damage. Uh, second one is a ten. Third one is a ten. Fourth one is a ten. Uh, fifth one is a ten. <laughs> no way. <laughs> one of the dice was a four every single time. Uh, Misses. <laughs> like he's just barely holding himself together. He's poisoned. Uh, he's looking very haggard. It is your turn. Great. I'm just gonna unload on him. Dibs, I go kill on that one. Oh, How'd you no. do it? <laughs> no, you stole kill. <laughs> no. <laughs> do not respect Dibs. Not how it works. <laughs> Is he still up sharp? I missed. No, he, he dies. You can, you can describe it if you'd like to. Okay. Um, I just like clobber him across the face with my quarter staff as he's like hunched over because of the poison. It's it's the whole movie scene where the camera's from behind and his face turns and spit flies out of it as he falls up dead. And you guys have defeated your ape enemies. These poor apes that were just trying to sleep and you disturbed them in their territory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fair. They picked the fight with us. And now you have a snail that is in a hole that you don't know what's going on with. <laughs> they did just drop down and the first thing we did was Dyron went up and started knocking the shit out of one. <laughs> we could have we could have negotiated, I bet. <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, nah. <laughs> I know how these things end. Is anyone... Dyrum has an immense hatred of apes, so he just Does anyone need to be touched by Heraclos' divine light? Well, mm. you know, I will say, um, if Amelia. <laughs> I could use a bit, um, I've got some body, you see, like, big bite marks in my arm <laughs> where the gorilla bit me. If you uh, had to, uh, rank your pain on a numbered scale, how much would you say it hurts? Oh, I'd say I'm less than half my HP. <laughs> mm. Okay, I said the numbered scale. You have to give me number. Uh, oh, I don't you know what half... I am on a scale of 1 to 47. Yeah. Um, the pain I felt was roughly 25. Yeah. Uh, mm. Amelia's going to cast Mass Healing Word. Oh, okay. Ooh, um, okay. <laughs> so everybody will get... Unfortunately for you, you do not get Heraclos' Divine Touch. Uh, she, you oh, only get no. 8. She didn't roll great on her. 8? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Oh, okay. Perhaps maybe you do. And... <laughs> yeah, um, but... Um, I think we'll take a break there. Okay, oh. I'll do the healing off screen then. In between yeah, the so you guys cool. are you're licking your wounds after this fight. You got a hole with a snail in it. And we'll see all of the viewers in a little bit. So enjoy your break.
That works. Welcome back, everybody. Um, and if you didn't, if you weren't with us in the first half, our champions have been wandering through this rainforest. Um, Igor talked to Clothis, the goddess of destiny, uh, told her to go away, and she did. And then, and then uh, they found a flail snail. Uh, once capturing it, they were attacked by some gorillons. Uh, they have just dispatched and taken a short rest during our short break. So it all works out thematically. Uh, what's your guys' plan now? The island, as far as you know, is in Nyx, and you have your snail in a hole. Mm -hmm. uh, Should we go to the coast and at least see like what that situation is? What do you think odds are that mermaids would bring us back? You know, maybe we find not dead ones. Well, they tried to eat us last time. Mm -hmm. Also, we're not. There's not an ocean. I'd, I'd assume. I don't know. Yes. What if it's the like island? A snowbird find... situation. Coast. Start heading towards the coast. You know, I've been wondering, why does this island appear into Nyx every so often? Who hmm. is bringing it here, and for what reason? Perhaps Sphinx? But why would she return ever? She hates theirs. Hmm. Maybe it's a thing where, like, the gods agreed to make the island disappear, but it has to appear every so often so that people have the option of getting wisdom from her, even if she doesn't want to. One of those. And what do you think about the water displacement? I wonder how that, that affects the sea life. When, when the island disappears, there is an entire space in the ocean that now will fill with water. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, How? once it appears, it'll displace the water, and it'll rise, covering the other arc, uh, the other islands. Well, we do not know if there's even water here yet or not, so we could go to coastline, there could be no water, and the water never left. Do you think this is like a... Could it possibly be like a mirage, where if you enter the area of the island, you just appear on the opposite side? You know, I am honestly mm. not following a single thing you say. Where the island's always there, but Nyx comes down around it and makes it disappear. Right, like a, uh, like a, like a barrier. Mm -hmm. Like if you put like a little rag over the island, and then the rag is Nyx, so the island's always there. Just sometimes it's covered up by a rag, and then you remove the rag. Right. But wouldn't you be able to see rag from outside? But the outside of the rag is painted like the sky. Yes. So what happened if you crash into rag? It's a magic rag. You just appear on the other side, just like, boop. Skip over it. Honestly, I don't think any of this matters. Well, it might matter, depending on how we want to get out of here. I mean, how long do you think <laughs> we have to wait? I don't cannot years? be gone that long. My estimate would be 80 years. What is this? What do you mean? What are odds I mean, that we showed up during that small time frame within the 80 years that is here? Well, it's because we were supposed to. Hmm. We are on a mission from the gods, so it's, it could be one of those things. I assume we're discussing this on our way to the coast. Yeah, we're walking yeah, towards yeah. the coast. <laughs> do, do survival checks for me. To see if you can find your way there. 15. 10. I only slightly know it, where we're going better It takes than last you a while, <laughs> but you make it to the beach where you guys first uh, <sighs> enter this island, and there is a sprawling ocean in front of you. So it does bring water. Well, now I'm thinking it's the cloth. Mm -hmm. No, I am thinking it is orb, like big orb, rib, <laughs> put in Nyx. But, 
Again, does not does matter. How does it go there? Let me try something. I want to go over to tree uh, to a tree. I almost said two tree because Igor <laughs> talks like that. Um, <laughs> and just start chopping it down. Like I like I'm assuming it's a small palm tree or something. You know, like not like a With your spear. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, the, the spear does have like the two. Hooks. If you bring well, up, I uh, have I have a hand axe, it? so I'll you have a hand axe. Just, like, burn a hole through it, like uh, yeah. <laughs> with the yeah. spear. You could just stab through it because Crucio is like a it's like a teardrop shape. So mm -hmm. okay, yeah. good. Not chop through it. And spear. I use hand axe. Yeah, you can use a hand axe if you'd like. Uh, make an attack with the hand axe. Okay. Hey. Roll, roll some damage. No. Okay, then the tree <laughs> stays there. <laughs> <laughs> my roll 20 is being difficult hold on okay there we go <laughs> yeah, uh, just, yeah it, it, it doesn't take you very long in the tree fall. tree falls down yep I want to wait a little bit hold on wait a second hold on does anything happen <laughs> nothing happens I don't know what you're expecting to happen no, this, but is, nothing happens. this right. is good news we can build the raft <laughs> I was worried. Well, so last night, uh, when the god came, uh, oh, Clothis, okay. uh, she knocked over a bunch of trees, but uh, when she left, the trees came back up. So I thought maybe we cannot destroy trees here. But yes, we can. I mean, it's I can see your line of thinking. That's fair. Well, she's probably just balanced out the destruction she made. Yeah, yeah, like it, but the line of thinking isn't a flawed line of thinking that the trees were destroyed and then they were not destroyed and we haven't done anything to trees, so therefore maybe trees just can't be destroyed. It would have been a big problem because then we could not build the rift. Now we can build the rift. Do any of us know how to sail and get back to Melatis on this raft? How hard could it be? Mm. You remember your journey and the storms that you ran into and the cannon dragon. <laughs> it is dead, but there are apparently more than one kraken within the waters around Theros. Hmm. Not that they just attack constantly either, but there are other things in krakens as well. Yeah. But I mean, go for it if you... I mean, I mean I... you... Okay, fine. So, if we not build the rift, then what do we do? Um, I'm just gonna look up at the Nyx guy and be like, Anyone wanna help? We're a little stuck here. Not because of our own fault. Someone was a teabag and decided to go on a trip that we didn't approve of. Um, go for a religion check. Worst case scenario, we kill someone, they use soul coin, we ask uh, Athreos, uh, or whatever his name is. Uh, <laughs> you got yeah, it. That was <laughs> um, let's see. It's gonna answer you. Hmm? You know what? Roll a d20 for it. Two. A two. Um, the waters at the coast uh, seem to start to rise. Um, and you can see further out in the ocean as like a whirlpool starts to form. Oh, good job. I don't see you doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making whirlpools. <laughs> Something happened. You know, I, I don't know if I trust this because uh, we just killed, you know, ocean creature. Now ocean look mad. Um, I... We do not have a good relationship with the nature gods that are a little bit more uh, touchy. <laughs> I need a dexterity saving throw. Yes. From everyone? Yes. Hey. Oh, wait, do I have disadvantage on that? Uh, you do not. Okay. Oh, uh, mine would be a 15 with Bukert's aura. Yeah, yours aura. Um, yours, sorry. You got a 15, <laughs> you got a 25, uh, you got a 13, and Amelia also got a 13. 
Um, as Goodbye. as the water raises, it starts to lower, and you see as it starts to swell up into this enormous tidal wave. Um, yeah, fuck this and- diamond. <laughs> uh, as it crashes into you, uh, Igor and Amelia are going to take some damage. Igor? All right, good. Uh, sorry, Ukrit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I always mix your names up for some reason. I don't. Uh, I need these dice. <laughs> Kem is threatening you in the chat. If you hurt Amelia, she's going to join the call out of spite. <laughs> Um, so. Uh, Ukrit and Amelia take 22 damage. <laughs> um, and Igor and I think we did all Dyru that take 11 damage. Literally, literally, 22 is what I had left before the healing. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, I have <gasps> evasion as a monk, so. If I pass that save, I don't take any damage. I just, okay, like, take no damage. hop straight up into the air and avoid the tidal wave. Um, <laughs> and you... You, <laughs> <son of it. laughs> you cause uh, this, and you just go, nope! <laughs> Dyrim, Dyrim Are lands. you unconscious? Are you unconscious? What? Are you unconscious? No, no, no. Oh, okay. no, no. I, that just well, took half my health, basically. But also, uh, you and Amelia aren't there when the water comes back. Yeah, but oh, but Ukrit uh, and Amelia, when you're both underwater, but you are breathing, uh, like like you you go to take in a breath and nothing like air seems to be coming to your lungs, um, but you oh are looking in the face of this enormous being, uh, and I need a picture for reverence. Ukrit has to talk to a god oh, now. You're, you're, you're completely fine, Kim. This, this, this is Dyrim bringing on god stuff. Um, it's this large feminine face. She's got like red lines down her face. Uh, these enormous fins that sprout from the top of her head and her hair mm-hmm. appear to be red, like octopus tentacles. And a yeah. lot of tentacles are wrapping around her as She's well. like a with giant ocean. koi fish. Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> these ocean blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drowning. I don't know. Can I breathe? My I... yeah, you can breathe. Okay. <gasps> yeah. As soon oh. as you go to like get any kind of breath in your lungs, it's just like normal. Oh, you can breathe water here. This is very handy. You can only do that because I'm allowing it. Why? Well, I can also allow it myself here? as well, but <laughs> how do you? Oh. You didn't call upon me. I didn't. <laughs> That's true. How? Why are you here, Nyx? How did you get it? Do you not know anything about this island? Yes, this island comes and goes as it pleases. You stayed. You got to the island and then stayed up on it. Well, usually, when you visit an island, you you stay there for a while, but. Honestly, we, um... Uh, yeah, I'm more ride. surprised that you survived the island this far. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise at all, because we're still here. If we were going to die, why would we be here? Well, we wouldn't have come to the island if we were meant to die there. That doesn't make much sense. <laughs> um, Your armor doesn't matter. I will either. say... <laughs> Uh, like, you're uh, floating in your heavy armor. No, um, to be honest, we would have left, uh, hours ago, but, uh, our ride here, uh, just got destroyed. Uh, well, both of our rides here got destroyed. Um. And now we're, uh, we're trying to build a raft. I've heard about you. No! And what you I see my in. literature is making waves in the intellectual communities. No, not your literature. It's your acts that are making waves. And I hear what your next one is. Oh! Are you sure? <laughs> Tell me, what, what have you heard? You plan to steal from me. Steal from you? No! Steal my pearl. 
Well, it's not stealing if you... If you agree to hand it over. I don't plan on doing that. Oh. Why do you think I put a Kraken in charge of keeping it safe? Well, I just... I assumed you, uh... You would want the oceans to remain, would you not? The oceans will remain. Mm. That's that's quite quite an assumption. <laughs> and how do you think they're going to disappear? Uh, well, uh, I mean, you said you've heard, and you've heard why I'm after the. You, you do know why we're after your your pearl, do you not? I am in the know of this, yes. Then why would you assume things would work out for you? Doesn't bother me. <sighs> well, I see that we are at a standstill. If you uh, do not care too much about the powers of Erebos, then I believe, uh, well, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Make another deck save. All right. Uh, I'll need sure people to make deck saves too. But... <laughs> you don't get a uh, Ukrit's aura from me. Or, yeah, 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 sorry, Igor's. Uh, no, it's got a twelve. Okay. Oh. It's a uh, fourteen for me. Twenty-three. Uh, I'm like crap up. Yeah. Before Dyrum gets sucked away, I look at him. <laughs> It was impressive vertical. You working on kiffs? I ha you know, I've been trying to work on it. It's where I've been focusing mostly lately. Um, um, as... The last thing before Ed, I, uh, I'll say, um, just just understand that if we weren't meant to have that pearl, we won't have it. But we shall see. <laughs> the G. It is you get pushed out towards the coast as another wave starts to form. Um uh Amelia, Ukrit, and Dyrum take nine damage and are knocked prone on the coast, and Igor, you oh. only take four. That's not too bad. Okay. I also only take four of that, because I'm a crafty monk. I'll still be on the ground though. <laughs> <coughs> Amelia's unconscious. Oh, gosh. oh shit. Oh. I'll, I'll run over oh. there. Oh, gold. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. I'll, I'll... She's taken a total of 31 damage from this wave. Oh, shit. So, oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, she's not. I never fully healed her. She's fine. She's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she's she's not unconscious. She's not unconscious. She's okay. still got 10. I didn't give her full health after that rest. So. I will well. still give her 28 <laughs> healing. Okay, cool. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is you made contact with a god. Cool, cool. The bad news is I told you we do not have good relationships <laughs> <laughs> with Thassa and and uh uh who else is the other one? Um Who's the other one? Who's the storm one? Karanos. Uh, Karanos. Karanos. Thersa and Karanos! <laughs> oh, this is not great, but... Uh, oh, well... To be fair, I... wasn't trying to contact Thassa. Was just kind of doing a reply-all situation. Yes, you know what? Maybe no, no longer send message to everyone. <laughs> yes, yes I, I believe there could be specific people we could call. Uh, what about Heracles? How about that? Yes. You're good friends with him. You, you trying calling him? He he's probably busy. It's not really, you know, his kind of thing. Oh, probably. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, Eric I'm like I know and, like, you're now covered in sand. <laughs> you're a busy uh. man. You're, you know, helping many people. But uh, we could use some assistance here on uh, the Mimosa Island if you want some. Be a great tale of champions for when we go and face a kraken. <laughs> Give me a religion check, Igor. I lost my head. Dude, I, I don't understand why I'm so bad at religion rules. Like, I literally... Uh, I think you know why. <laughs> as a paladin, it's very sad. But as you reach out uh, to your god, your best friend, 
Um, you get a response. Um, better not be his fucking I, voicemail again. <laughs> you, know, you just hear a laughter in the back of your mind. Just a, <laughs> there you are. Um, and as you hear that, uh, you look at Dyram and Ukrit and Amelia, and like their eyes turn red and blood starts to drip out of the corners of their eyes. Um, I need a Constitution saving throw from. From who? Sorry, wisdom saving throw on that card. From who? From Igor. Igor. Okay. Oh my god. Why does this game hate me? D&D &D gods. <laughs> Where's my book? Why? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I have a plus seven to this, plus four to religion. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you, you. That's my life. Roll a D100 for me, please. No, wait. Yeah, D100. I love it's it. It's a 35. It's so good. 35. Um, so you see this blood coming out of party members' eyes, and you start to regard them with intense revulsion, as if uh, you're affected by the apathy effect, uh, which I would currently bring up. Yeah. Because it's See. part of a spell, and no, I don't want that. You see? <laughs> if I can spray. <laughs> Am I going to kill We really only right have now? luck with gods. Possibly. When oh. they contact us. We shouldn't do the call. Yeah, we, yeah, should, we should never try that's to That's exactly to what us. I've been thinking this entire time. Uh, <laughs> you, Although I've had... Oh, go ahead. Uh, you have the intense urge to get away from... Uh, yeah. Ugh. As you see this blood pouring from your eyes. What is wrong with you? They're diseased. I, I must look go. down at the sand stuck to my fur. <laughs> <laughs> I just bull rush it's away. Just a little sound into the trees. <laughs> yeah, you guess Skyrim does like, off. panic a little bit, saying that like when Igor says he's diseased and is like, "Ooh, ooh, did it, did it come back? Am I going to die?" <laughs> yeah, you like you say, Igor, talk to your god. He's like, okay. <laughs> he he tries to, and then he suddenly just looks at you in disgust and runs off into the. Is does his god not like us or? Don't know. Just like checking my arms and checking everywhere, making sure I'm not dying. Hmm. All right. All right. <sighs> should should we go after him? Oh, Great Afara, <laughs> planner of civilizations far and wide. We need a goddamn boat. Make <laughs> <laughs> a religion check for me. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to use my nat 20. <laughs> That's like a 26. <laughs> yeah, this is a good time to use it, I think. Uh... <laughs> Um, <laughs> don't hear anything right away yet, mm -hmm. but you feel like you've connected uh, with Afara. Okay. Gonna look after Yegor, like, keep track of where he ran off to. Be like, right, hey, I, buddy. I think I'm getting service. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm getting... I think it's ringing. <laughs> Yeah, you go off to find Igor. Igor, if you turn around to look at him and he's like trying to talk to you, like blood just starts pouring out of his mouth as well, and you still have this feel, just not be him at all. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I just keep running. Uh, I'm hoping to run into like a hatch with the numbers <laughs> on them. Right. <laughs> Do a perception check. For I'm looking for a good hiding spot. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> you, are, you are running, you're trying to get away from um, Dyrum, looking for somewhere to hide. Um, when suddenly you start to feel the ground shake around you. 
Mm. Dyer, you also feel this. I'm just like booking it after you or keeping up with him because I think our speed is the same. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep running. Um, like, uh, yeah, Ukra, you don't have to continue to pray if you don't want to. You know you connected and you're just waiting for get something to you. Um, okay. Yeah, it might be that you're like. So I know we're very far out from to... civilization, so I, I, I assume also if it's there's it's not I don't know how likely it is that there's just going to be a boat that's going to appear. Yeah, but I'm just like, like you can assume Mathasa was able to like directly uh, interact with you guys because yeah. she Jesus lives Jesus. in the oceans of Nyx, yeah. um, whereas like the other gods still have to kind of interact as if this is their yeah. world that they live in. I just so I just sent uh, I just sent a message to her. Like, to her yeah. pager and then yeah um <laughs> yeah uh ukrit and you are your you are just trying to get away from ukrit? Dyer, Dyer, <laughs> Dyer. why is everyone ukrit today <laughs> it's easy to say um <laughs> you are just sprinting through the woods <laughs> that what is that movie is it the uh, uh claudia's chance of meatballs the cop that runs like this <laughs> i think that's that movie but you're just for terminator off. running just yeah um and Dyer try to keep up with them. And Yigar, you eventually come... Like, the ground's still shaking. And you eventually come to a part of the forest where... Like, all the trees have been flattened out. And there's just, like, this huge trench through the trees. It's not, like, in the ground, but it looks like something enormous. And it's still pretty close. Something enormous laid here? And it's still walk close? Oh, like, it had walked through and pushed these trees down. And it's still fairly close to you because you can feel the ground shaking. Uh, can I try to look again or no? Yeah, you can do a perception. When I'm closer. Or, uh, or survival to try and see Fuck. what it is. <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh, you can't see it, but like the ground is shaking very considerably. I, I'll pull out my spear and, sh and shield and I'll turn back toward Dyrim and I say do not come any closer. Or you are asking for death. I don't know. I don't, you know, we can have the philosophy about who would win in a straight out fight. But, you know, we, you know we'll, we'll deal with that later. Okay? You disgust right me. Here. <laughs> that seems a bit harsh. Vile. But, okay. Hmm. You know, you're really starting to hurt my feelings now. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we had a good thing going on. But, okay. Stay right here. Um, Can I, like, do I see this giant trench that we're in, essentially? I'm assuming. You, you, and as you guys are talking, um, and this ground shaking seems to be getting more violent, um, and you're like, oh, that's got to hurt my feelings. You hear the trees, like, right next to you start to snap as this huge hand pushes through. And looking up into the sky, you see this enormous being, um, like its body looks appears black and like cloudy and is swirling and it's got this enormous humanoid face with a huge nose and like it doesn't seem to have any lips you can just see like its bottom row of teeth as it's looking down at you i need initiative buddy please thank you hello this is not a gun I don't think Ukrit's anywhere close to us. We ran up into the forest. <laughs> yeah. I'll get there on round six. <laughs> okay. Good thing I still have most of my health. I got Amelia chased after us too, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, shit. Cam told me actually. She said, "I don't want to be anywhere near you, or because she just, uh, he, I, I discussed it." So yeah, you very hurt her. I'm feelings. using the cat as a token. It's not a cat. If Are you, you sure? It. Yeah, it could just be a cat. Um, Dyrum, this giant being is looking down at you. Like you can see within the black, like cloudy swirls of its body. You also see the kind of same colors of the sky that purple blue with stars in it and this is like giant giant like 20 30 feet tall or something like that yeah 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 
so hello we are just passing through um i'm going to hold my action if it attacks me i'm gonna attack back but then i'm also going to um use my bonus action to take the dodge and do patient defense i right. uh, also make so an i'm just like as you're talking to it. okay Ooh, net one uh yeah it, i mean here's looking at a giant uh, like you almost get distracted because on the hand that's like pushing the trees aside you start to see like skulls taking shape and screaming as they pass way back into the black fogginess of its body yeah just like defensive position getting ready for this thing to whomp up on me all right uh ukrit i don't even think you know what's going on on it no uh so we'll we're just slowly walking into the floor and back into the the jungle i i think we're talking uh, okay. Well, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I connected with Afara, so we'll possibly get, you know, some kind of response as we go. But I, I do want to say, I think, and I'm talking just to Amelia, yeah. uh, even if she's not responding. Uh, she's probably sulking, I imagine, from being insulted like that from, yeah. from Igor. Her uh, friend just, like, ran her, away from her. Her, like, good, yeah. Um, well, but I, the most interesting thing that I think is in our favor is she, well, Fasa did tell us but the island comes and goes as it pleases. So I think, possibly, we could just... It could happen at any point. We just appear back in the regular, uh, uh, you know, planes of, of Theros. Uh, yeah, give me a survival check with advantage to find what they ran off to. Because Igor was just kind of trying to run away. It wasn't really yeah, being too... I... Okay. Uh, survival... Survive with advantage because Amelia is helping you. Yeah, it's a, with advantage, I got a six. Yeah. It was six. <laughs> yeah, like, it's not too hard to find where a Minotaur barreled through the forest, but like it takes yeah. you a couple, it takes you a little bit to keep on track with them. Uh, Yegor, yeah. there's uh, a giant pushing trees aside. I am so sorry that you were going to die again here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope you have your third character prepared. <laughs> no, uh, is there any sort of no, because it doesn't matter either way, I don't think. Um, I see this as my opportunity, like, to escape, I assume. Um, so I'm going to, like, run off, like, 15 feet into the tree line and duck behind a tree. Try and hide. Yeah. Make a stealth check with disadvantage, you heavy armor minotaur. Uh, five. <laughs> yeah, like, you... Like, he, you can see these white pupilless eyes, uh, and, it, like, its head turns as you begin to run and just completely follows you as you try to duck behind a tree, tree 15 feet away from where you were standing. <sighs> like, I, I, yeah, that's, that's my turn because, like, <laughs> dude, as much as I want to fucking help, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't justify it. Yeah, you, uh, he's looking down at you uh, he sees you're taking a defensive stance and he just is staring at you Amelia is helping Ugrit, Dyrum like, he looks back down at you Dyrum after Igor tries to duck behind a, a fern that's not quite big enough for him <laughs> I like look over to where Igor is hiding and I'm like mm, yeah the great champion of Heraclos running away from a fight um, hi, I'm Dyrim. My friend is having a bit of an ex existential crisis right now. Um, just trying to help him out. Seems like he's on a bad trip. Hopefully just waiting out until he comes down from it. Um, you see this thing? Like, it doesn't open its mouth or anything. You still see the rope. Do you just hear a... Uh, make a persuasion check. Good talking, good talking. <laughs> I thought you hate us. And then make an insight check. Uh, insight. Okay. Uh, from the noise and from its face, it, you almost see, like, confusion. Uh, mm. You think that it doesn't quite understand what you're saying? That's fair. That's fair. Just, like... Still very um, 
I'll take another, I'll do another key to take another dodge action, but I won't repair an action. And still just very much like, hey, you know, we're cool. We don't, don't need to do anything. All right. Uh, Ukrit, you're walking and talking with Amelia. She'll help you yeah. with another survival check. Okay. Ten! <laughs> you're kind of picking up on the trail, but it's a little bit slow. Uh, Dyrum's, Dyrum's okay. on his way. He's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fine. Is there any sort of way for me to do a check to see if I'm smart enough to realize that I was afflicted in some way by Mogus? Sure, do a uh, an intelligence check. Guys, this is a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you're not. You don't know why. You maybe maybe this is what Chris was talking about with uh, Dyrum becoming a, a big slime monster, but also Ukrit was. Is also repulsing you so maybe he's not everything call. is as it seems <laughs> <laughs> i must run run as far away as i can this Never did happen when you reached out to heracles and he has been saying not everything is as it seems <laughs> he's finally given me the sight i need it. i just spray oh my god 60 feet away <laughs> 60 feet all right um it is this giant's turn. He's like looking at you very confused, Dyrum, and then he sees your clanking off into the forest as he's Terminator running through the trees. And he looks up and he starts standing up and he starts following after you. Uh, so let's okay. see. Um, he's full sprint. He's not able to quite catch up with you, but he's right on your heels, Igor. Amelia um, yeah, helped. Uh, Ukrit, Dyrum. If you wanted to take an opportunity attack, you can. I don't take that away from him to do that. No, no. If this thing doesn't seem to be, like, threatening necessarily, I'm not smacking him. Okay. Because he is far too big, and I am all alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to... I mean, keep up with them. I'm probably going to try and stay like 10 feet behind this giant, which I can use my action. I have plenty of speed to do that. Um, can I also... Well, it's breaking down the trees. It's leaving a trail like none other. I don't need to do anything to mark our trail. Can I intervene yeah, for just a second? Yeah. Uh, Igor, you... Are you not an Oath of Glory? I am. Your speed is increased by 10 feet. Oh, sure, you do seven. have 10 extra feet. So oh, instead of 60, your full here. sprint is 80. All right, well, I only sprinted 60. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure you knew how much of a coward you could be. Okay, um, thank you. I appreciate it. No, this whole time I thought... Just I thought because I, I have figured the feet. giant also has a big uh, 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 range it can go. Oh, yeah, also, he's, got a, so. he's got a large leg span. Yeah, oh, I'm just keeping up, saying, like, trying to keep Yegor in sight and, like, between these giants' legs, just staying 10, 15 feet behind them. Yeah, as you're, as you're trying to keep up with these enormous black cloudy legs, you can see, like, skeletons appear every once in a while as, as they're swirling through. Does this, I mean, can I make any sort of check to see if I know what the heck this thing could be? Uh, make a religion or an archon. Both of them are bad. Let's do Arcana. 18. 18. So you have heard of these things. They're not very common, especially because they came around in the same way like the gods did through uh, mortal belief. Uh, this is a Doom Wake giant. Um, they arise from fears, like when whole cities or, or regions. Uh, are become afraid of something uh, to a, to a very high extent. These things start to be created, um, uh, like especially destruction of their city or their region, that kind of thing. Um, so the terror manifests itself into these giants that are Nyxborn, uh, uh, and then they just kind of roam around, uh, living their lives until the fear goes away. Of these people, so like the like the skeletons that are making up the body of this thing are, are 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 the fears of the people coming together to create this giant. Essentially, mm -hmm. okay. 
Cool. So I know they're not malicious by nature. They're just yeah. doing their business. Yeah. Okay. That's all I got. I'm just keeping up. That one's good. Um, it is Ugrit's turn. Another survival check with advantage. Okay. Ten. Ten. <laughs> yeah. Like trail starting to get a little more progressive. You could probably even start to hear the footsteps of this giant as it trying to Ooh. keep up. Well, looks like they're getting loud out there. <laughs> Igor, okay. You have a giant following you. So as I look over my shoulder, is this thing bleeding out of its mouth as well? And I do—do do I still have that condition when it comes to this thing? The giant does not know. Okay. It is scary looking, but it's not bleeding. I'll um, I'll t I'll stop and turn and be like, "Thank you. You must have killed the thing that was chasing me." You are a hero. I'll make a persuasion check as you yell up to this giant who's chasing after you, or following after you. He's not like going fast. Uh, make an insight. Check. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? A plus six? Uh, make an yes, insight check. It's a plus six. How many, how many crit fails in a row is that? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, okay. You progress, you profess out this, uh, this, uh, thanks to this giant, like you're yelling up so I can hear it. And you can tell just nothing registers on this thing face. You can, you're pretty sure it doesn't speak common. Oh. <laughs> so it didn't even oh. understand what you just said to it. Okay. Nope. I'm out. <laughs> just sprint <laughs> my 80 feet. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this thing follows. It keeps pace with you. It follows eighty feet after you. Um, I guess I'm not afraid of this thing, so I could have fought technically. Oh well, next turn. <laughs> Die room. Um, can I, like, obviously saw Igor stop, talk to it, and then just terminate or run away again? <laughs> um. Um, can I use my movement? I can't necessarily take the hide action because I'm going to have to dash to keep up with Igor. Um, but I'd like to, like, peel out a little bit and try and, like, be running parallel with Igor a ways away, but trying to stay out of his line of sight. Um, I will say Igor is about uh, 100 feet in front of you because the giant was still lagging behind Igor a little bit. Um, okay, um, I, I'll far. use my action to dash and that'll get me 90 feet so i'll be 10 feet behind igor but trying to be like or probably less because i'd want to be yeah. we'll say 20 feet away from igor and then as far forward as i can get math trigonometry and okay cool. that. yeah that works <laughs> um yeah so you're like 20 feet to the diagonal uh, <laughs> um I just like to imagine Yigor thinks he's like, wait a second, why am I running? I could fight this thing. And then he turns around and you're just booking it at him. <laughs> the thing he's been afraid of. <laughs> I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm going to try something. Got a stunning strike. So he can't run. <laughs> I'm going to do something else first. I'm going to try okay. a different thing and then I'm going to try stunning strike. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to make a survival? Yeah, make a survival to finish re Ten. Nine! Oh, God. <laughs> Like, they ran like, away further. <laughs> like you turn, you you hear the footsteps. You're like, I, that's not Igor. It's too loud. So you just like continue <laughs> off in a different direction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Igor. that was a good session, everybody. It's time that we end. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> it, it, I happen, but it, I'm I'm here for it. Igor, what are you doing? Um. So, I. I look over my shoulder again. Now Dyrim's next to me again. Fuck that guy. Uh, so I'm kind of like in a fight or flight situation here. Um, I mean, the condition doesn't say that I'm like aggressive against them. Nope. Just disgusted. Um... 
Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, pa I failed my fucking intelligence check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess all I can do is turn and uh, wait for Dyrim to enter. How far is he from me? 10 feet? About 20 feet. 20 feet? 20 feet. I hold, I hold firm, hold action to uh, attack Dyrim when he comes within range. <laughs> All right. Um, so you do that. Uh, the giant catches like he he's able to keep pace like right behind you about twenty feet. But when you stop, he like comes to a full stop and just looks down at you and sees Dyrim also running up. And he's just kind of watching you too. Amelia's hoping. Dyrim, it's your turn. Ah, <sighs> but I see Igor take this like ready. I'm gonna kill you stand. Yep. He, like, like, he doesn't regard the giant. He looks right at you. Okay. Can I make some sort of a check to see what the heck is going on with Igor? Make an insight check. Igor, are you trying to hide that you're trying to be aggressive towards No, I, I've already told him to back off or I'd kill him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Igor is getting aggressive towards you. This is like, he's going to fight you if you come... Um, I was thinking more of, like, why he suddenly had this reaction to it. Oh, um, within his eyes, you can see that there's a disgust there. I don't think you can... Uh, do a religion check. Yeah, you're not entirely sure. Like, you can see there's something different in his eyes, but you're not entirely sure why he's had yeah, this change. Um... I'm not gonna get next to him because I don't want to get stabbed. Very fair. <laughs> um, ah, shoot, 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 shoot. I was gonna try something, but I need to be next to him to do it, and I don't want to be stabbed. Um, I think I'll keep standing there stay like 20 feet away um and say igor if i'm diseased that is something you can end correct through the power of hair clothes he grants me many abilities how do you know vile beast <laughs> i Worship the goddess of medicine and affliction. Just like under my breath. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the last part? Uh, the, the goddess of medicine and snakes. Hmm. Um, I will stay very still if you would like to try to cure me. I will. I promise you, I will not do anything. I will sit on my hands if you would like me to. What's what's your ruling on this, Baka? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's currently there is nothing making you away from him. Uh, you, like it's up to you. All mm -hmm. you know is that you just you have the urge to leave the area. It doesn't mean you have to leave. Mm -hmm. Yet. Okay. How about you roll me a persuasion? Okay. We'll, we'll see. Persuasion. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, is that your turn? Yeah. Um, I will actually, I'm going to take the dodge bonus action again. Um, or if I haven't used my action, I'll just take the dodge action normally and not burn my key. Okay. Yeah, you didn't. You uh, didn't uh, essentially, like, seeing Yigor not really change his stance, just not moving, but trying to, like, turn my body so he can't hit me as well. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Ukrit! You and Amelia are wandering through the wood. Yeah, yeah, just having a good walk. Um, really trying to figure out where people are. Um, let's do that good old survival. Let's see if we can get 
Fourteen! Holy yeah, wow! You, you come across this trench and you can see like friends, um, really deep into this trench of your. Oh. Weird that he left a trench like this, uh, but he seems to have changed course. Yeah, so you start following that. Uh, Igor, can I get a wisdom saving throw, please? Thank you so much. Thank you. He's about to fucking kill Dyrim. <laughs> you still have the disdain for him, but you're not frightened of him. Okay. This was add on top of what you already feel. I think a little bit does get uh, relieved because you did roll so well, but he still isn't like you don't regard him as like normal. But I don't. I don't know that you want to kill him. Do I gain any insight with that wisdom that I that I may be afflicted? You remember that this started after you heard Mogus is back your mind. That filthy and you know voice. He's been with you. <laughs> In the back of my head, that was Morgus. Let me let me be sure. I will cast Lester Restoration upon myself and see if that helps. Yeah. yeah. Um. You feel this. You start to go away. So Dyrim is no like blood stops flowing out of Dyrim's eyes and his mouth when he talks, and he's not as repulsive anymore. I mean, it depends on how repulsive you thought Dyer was for. <laughs> Throw your dice. <laughs> I wanted to see <laughs> how repulsive he is, naturally. <laughs> I think that's an 18, Rude. but it's so far away, I can't tell. Um, is that good or bad? <laughs> yeah, I think that that's good. You're, you're a handsome fella. Okay. Oh. Um, Shucks. But, I like, kind of just like shake my head after that. Um. Okay. Dyrim. Igor. Uh, something strange came over me. I apologize. It was not. Uh, it was not my fault. I swear. <laughs> but uh, okay. who is your friend? I just like point to the giant. <laughs> that um, he's friend, maybe overstating it, but not enemy. He's just kind of, or they? I don't know. I don't want to assume. Um, they're just kind of living their life, and I think is just curious about what we're doing in their forest. Okay, that's good news. Hello, nice to meet you. They do, just for full disclosure. They are called Doomwake Giants, and they do manifest based off of the fears of an entire population. So oh, just this... so you are fully in the know. One did. I have no fears. <laughs> <laughs> One fear. Okay, I'm glad, One glad you're feeling better, buddy. <laughs> One fear. Diary. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> Yeah, I think that constitutes as a turn, unless you wanted to do anything like action with sexual. No, I mean, that was my action to use Lester Restoration, so. Oh, that's right. That's lesser. Right. Um, yes. Yeah, I think I'm good. So, this giant looks down at you, too. <laughs> yeah, not 20 on it. Um, like, it looks back and forth at both of you, like it's expecting something to happen. And then when it sees nothing happen, it just, like, splits the difference between the two of you and keeps walking and walks away. But, as it walks away. And gets close to you two. Um, I need a Constitution saving throw from both of you. Um, oh, screw you. Jiren doesn't get the bonus. Okay. No. I got a 19 though. Oh, well, you both pass. It's a 18 saves. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Like these these skeletons reach out at you guys as it walks away, um, and you're able to kind of lean back from it and avoid the 88 necrotic damage that would have been dealt to you otherwise. Um, let me oh, make sure it's not half, though. On a failed save, on a successful, it takes half as much. You can still take damage, I guess. I still got six temporary hit points. I'm fine. Hey. Hey. You're this gonna... is also why I didn't want to blow all my key in case I needed to do some emergency healing. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so, like, a couple of these skeletons get their hands on you. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. Um, 28 half to 14 necrotic damage. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. As this giant strolls past you two, seeing that you aren't going to fight each other. <laughs> Just disappointed in our... In our shit. He's like viewing you like he would, like like you came across two lizards or something, <laughs> and you're like waiting to see what they're gonna do with each other. <laughs> we got bored. Um, and I won't make Ukrit and Amelia keep checking. You have to follow this trench yeah. and are able to find Igor and uh, Dyrum. Well, their hands up. <laughs> Just like how's it going? How was the apart. chase? <laughs> are you doing all right? Are you good? Is, yes. Uh, I just thought I would go for a little exercise, that is all. Nothing to fear. All right, that's what I assumed. Hmm. That makes sense. Um, so I've reached out to Afara. I think mm. she's going to, you know, send word back. Um, also, uh, another thing I forgot to mention when we were talking to uh, Thassa... She did mention, offhandedly, that the island comes and goes as it pleases. So, maybe if we ask the island nicely, it might go back. Hmm. You know, I was thinking of this. What if there is, uh... Some way of making island go on command? Perhaps... You know, there is, like, heart of island. We find heart we can control. Or perhaps magic uh, item that may control. You know what? Maybe circlet or or uh, rod. I'm gonna cast suggestion on the island. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll know in a second. And I cast suggestion. Island. Bring us back to <laughs> to Theros. <laughs> Not on the plains of Nyx. What kind of DC does it have to make? I uh, I think it's like an intelligence. <laughs> I don't expect this to work. Fully, full, fully, I do not expect this to work. Here's the dice. All right. Nothing happens. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I assume. Um. I assume that means you're wrong. <laughs> no, no, I do not mean you suggest island. Island not alive. I mean there is like magic item on island that can bring us back perhaps even the rod did you inv- uh did you um oh yeah identify... the rod doesn't do anything like that what about the 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 circuit sure. i don't know amelia has that i haven't put it on but um maybe we should go and see if afar is contacted yeah, yeah. let's start with the boat also yeah, what start... does the rod do you figured it out what does it do well, I know you can use it once every so often. That's all I've gotten. Hmm. So it could once bring this island back to Theros. I mean, I suppose, but I, do, I doubt that. That doesn't yeah. make sense. Hold on. Which one was gift? The circlet. Oh, okay. Then yes, Rod probably brings us back. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Let's start by going to the beach and seeing if Afara sent us a boat. <laughs> you are so quickly folded on the. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys make your way back easily enough. There was a giant trench that kind of leads you back to where you entered that part yeah. through the forest, and you're, you make your way back. Um, and as you get to the uh, uh, the shore, the shore, the beach, um, everybody roll a religion. I'll, I'll have Amelia do one as well. Hold on, let me, let me pray to my real life god real quick. <laughs> okay. I think this might... Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, well, I got a 25. Yeah, Ukrit sees this right away. Um, what? Explain to me what your ideal chariot would look like. Ideal chariot? Um... I assume it would have kind of like a nice, it would have like a coach seat and then it'd have like a, like a nice, so I, I, 
because Ukrit, Ukrit's very a very practical guy, and he's very like. So I think I think the the chariot would just be some kind of. It might have like a, a lounge where you could read, but beyond that, it just seems like a regular like taxi <laughs> service. Fair, fair. So you see this chariot, and in front of it are two white horses um, with enormous wings on them. And there is a note hanging off the chariot. This isn't a ship at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go grab the note. <laughs> Their ship. Um, the note uh, is uh, it says, "I called in a favor uh, with Heraclos. Uh, I know you're traveling, one of his followers. So I borrowed some Pegasus from him, as well as this flying chariot. Uh, as soon as." Keratos is back in the th uh, mortal plane to fly back to Theros. And as you look up, the the purple-blue sky begins to... It's almost like a dawn coming, but it is nighttime in Theros because you got through the day. Uh, yeah. A black sky begins to overtake the purple and blue mix mm -hmm. as uh, Keratos returns back to the mortal plane. What does oh, it there say? we go. Let's... Oh, it seems as though uh, everything went according to plan, and we, we can, can use this to it. get back. <laughs> I, I believe that uh, uh, spelling error. That should say Pegasi. Yes. <laughs> what? What do you mean spelling error? Pegasi. You know. <laughs> I never read it out loud. <laughs> I'm looking over, over your shoulder. shoulder. Make, a <laughs> Make a perception check, Igor. <laughs> you don't know how to read. Seventeen. <laughs> it, says it was written in primordial. <laughs> nope. It was written in primordial. You don't know. Well, perhaps uh, Pegus. <laughs> Pegopides. Yeah, I was going to say Pegopides. Thank you. I was trying to make a call back, but nobody I got know, it. I know. I know. <laughs> I did not get it. I thought you were just uh, trying to inch your way in there. That kind of. <laughs> no, 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 I was to... You also see it does say Heracles on there. Do I see uh, that? Yeah. With that perception check. I am not surprised. <laughs> yeah, it seems like I got a favor in from your god. <laughs> no, no, no. He must have heard what I was saying and, you know. <laughs> no, it specifically said. <laughs> <laughs> this has everything to do with me. Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> Open the door to the chariot. And walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, this is our taxi. <laughs> really get on. And it takes off as Ukrit and Yiko are with each other on the beach. No, it... I suppose we could probably take this the whole way back to uh, attack Rose. You know what would be smart? If we were to fight Kraken while on flying creature. And then they could not get us. How would we get them? Hmm. This is a also... good question. If we're trying to get a pearl from the Kraken, are we just assuming it's carrying around this pearl, or is it going to be, like, in a net? I assume it's guarding where the pearl is at. I assume pearl is sitting in its gut. That's a strange assumption. Why, why do you assume that? Well, eyeball was in... <laughs> there was pearl in eyeball. Sorry, <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> the Cyclops' eye was in the Cyclops, <laughs> and the crown was in the was in the head of the of the queen. But but hear me out. The Cyclops' eye was not an actual eye. It was like a gem or a pearl or something. But it's like the actual core of his eye. That's like a, it's a natural part of him. Yeah, yeah I, 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 it might have been lost in my very poor detailing, but essentially. Uh, the first Cyclops, an eye gem was placed inside of its eye, and that's been passed on magically. Cyclops, an eye gem and was placed gem. magically in his. <laughs> See, by his chromosome. I feel like that still helps my case. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can see your case as. Well. We're arguing about this. On... <laughs> I I personally think, um, well, the whole point of getting this this uh, flail snail shell was to do some nonsense with your spear so we could fight the Kraken better. Was it not? 
Yes. <laughs> I just like seeing Ukrit like or Yigar glazed out. Yes, uh, 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 yes. Help with the spear. <laughs> I paid total attention during that time. I was not worrying about Theodore and his spear. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say we should probably just fly back to Akros. Mm, we can get dropped off, walk back to Manatees, get a new boat. Sure. Yes. Um. Fuck off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, With that sentiment, you board the chariot and start flying through the night sky. That's where we'll end today's episode. <laughs> this, by far, was the worst, the worst roles beach we episode ever, ever got in, in the history of this show. Oh, we must have a... had maybe five total roles above, like, 15. <laughs> it was a struggle for sure. But you're bound to have those sessions. You guys have been whomping, whomping on these oh uh, bosses. Now you now you don't have a boss. You don't know what to do. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much that joined us for the session. Um, again, be sure to go follow us on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, uh, all the social medias. That's when there's Den. We got ex on YouTube. More to come. Uh, Patreon, we have all of the audio for uh, Fandelver, uh Dragon of Ice Fire Peak and Mythic Odyssey of Theros. Um, and it's just a little baby dollar tier. Well, more to come on there as well, so be keeping your eyes peeled. I'm in a weird mood, so I shouldn't continue to talk too much longer. It also was not a weird, oh, good peeling. Yeah. It was like, when you un peel I was like, your I, eye. I was like taking, taking the this part of my eye and peeling it off. Oh, okay. when you okay. peel it, check for a gem behind there and let me know. Exactly. And then we'll see if there's a pearl. But um, be sure to go follow these guys. And also Cam, she couldn't go join us tonight, but hopefully she'll be with us next week. Because we'll be playing every week this month. Uh, Chris, do you want to say anything in my strange ramblings before? Yes. Jabba to Poopy. Yes. That. Great. Um, Just <laughs> end it. Put it out of our, put us out of our misery. <laughs> yeah, Just, please, thank goodbye, y'all. It was Worst beach episode ever. <laughs> Didn't even smash yeah. the watermelon. <laughs>